my god, everything's so loud in my ears. Okay, I'm gonna take the headphones off for this, I suppose. That's fine, that's fine by me, I'm not upset. <sighs> Let's see, the jig. Oh, no, can I get it? Hi, I'm, no, I'm, um, The link works. Okay, and make sure my volume is down. Thank you. Hello. Who is this? I can't see. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't plan this far ahead. Hello there. It's good to see you. I'm currently acting like a maniac. So, it's good to see you. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are here. I'm gonna start playing in, I think, like, five minutes. Just wait till, like, a couple more people hop in. And then we're ready to go. I hope streaming a bit early will be good for the people who live across the pond and don't live in the U.S. Because I know that was an issue last time, where last time I wanted to stream, it was a little bit late. Hey, guys, it's good to see you. <laughs> Let's see. I, I plan to be streaming for like a while, so it shouldn't be an issue if people can't come early. That's the goal at least. I don't know how well it's gonna go. Question, because I didn't get anybody to test this for me except myself. Can you hear my voice over like the Minecraft menu music? Because I don't know. <laughs> I can turn it down and turn it up if you can't hear it though. Or I can turn myself up, but I don't know how much you guys want to hear me. I'm so glad. Colin! Hello there. Oh my god, it is me. <laughs> Who is she? Where has she been? Um, yeah? Okay. I'll trust you on that. Oh, I want to make a story. Uh, I gotta tell people I'm live, because otherwise everything's fine. I'll take your word for it. I'm sorry I'm making noises for the sake of hearing my own voice. That was for making an Instagram story. Just say I'm live. Look at me go. <laughs> oh my god. You guys would be so sad to see me right now. Maybe Colin would at least. I don't know. I have a horrible gaming setup right now. It's tragic. Like, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> it, um, I'm gonna make a community post saying I'm live, and then I'm gonna post a picture of it there, because, whew, it's something. Let's see. <laughs> I'm currently borrowing. You wanna hear me? I'm gonna blush. Stop. <laughs> I'm currently borrowing, like, all of the equipment for my setup. I didn't have a desk, though. So I'm using, like, a cedar, like, wood chest. And it's, it's rough, bro. Like, <laughs> I have a, I have a Yeti mic right now. It's very fancy, except when I borrowed it, I forgot to take the mic stand itself. So it's sitting in a little red cup right now. Oh no, I assure you, it is dog shit. I don't, like, the cedar chest that I just described is too low for, like, my arm to rest on comfortably with the, uh, the mouse. So it's on top of a really thick book. The book is a book from my childhood. It's called The Big Book of Tell Me Why. It's okay to be simple. It's not even simple. It's just janky. <laughs> Alrighty. Posted a picture of my gamer setup. It looks real, real bad. The chair! <laughs> the chair is just a folding chair also. 
and like it it just it's too high for what I'm using as my desks and it also hurts my ass so I have to put a pillow on it and it's just you know all together could be better that's all I have to say if you were to go to Minecraft world you would go to the nether world in the newer nether I haven't heard that let's see if you were to go to Minecraft defeat the final boss I wouldn't do shit if I actually went to Minecraft world I want to let you guys know there I okay so oh my god why did I pick to stream during noon on a Tuesday there's so much traffic sounds okay you're gonna hear that throughout the day and that's not my fault I promise but but let's see <laughs> it must be very uncomfortable it is uncomfortable thank you thank you for agreeing with me I needed that <laughs> but let's see his OBS I don't need this chat window Lol. If you go to Minecraft world, maybe you can build a house. Yeah, I can manage that. Absolutely. Let's see. I can switch to my game capture. Boom! Look at me go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it's 12 for 4. We can start playing Minecraft now. Oh, I suppose I have to put my headphones on now. Oh, but it's so loud. It isn't anymore. Why didn't... Why did that... Hey. Where did my desktop audio go? Can you... Did it just... Get quiet? Because... Hmm. Okay. No. It's, oh, there's my test world. Yeah, I played it for like five minutes just to make sure everything was set. Uh, let's create a new world. Okay. What are we going to call this world? I'm taking suggestions. Enjoyed my ASMR, which is the most viewed one. Oh! I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you like that. That one was um, kind of funny to make. <laughs> Hi, chum. It's good to see you. I'm glad you can make it. In my mods um, channel on my Discord server, I asked my mods to help me like test the stream, and nobody would. I can't believe you guys. You think you can trust someone? <laughs> I was so scared. Anyways, it's okay. What are we gonna name the Minecraft world? I need suggestions. Otherwise, I'm gonna name it something dumb. To the power of the YouTube algorithm. Hello, everyone. Hello! Welcome to my little corner of YouTube. It's very nice to see you. <laughs> the list should be called Dog Shit Setup. I'll do it. First come, first serve. <laughs> Bad game setup, girl! I'll take constructive criticism. <laughs> well, chum, 20 minutes ago I could have used your help. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Okay, we can do survival difficulty. Oh, God. I don't know. I'll just... I'll do normal. Allow cheats off. Yeah, game rules. What are these? Nah, we won't, we won't mess with this. No world options. Bonus chest? Hmm. No, I'm trying to not be a wimp. This is how I always play when I, like, start my own Minecraft worlds. But, like, it's fine. <laughs> it's such a longest world. No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start a new world. I got to move my monitor because... Guys, don't. J I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Hello? Okay. Now, where the hell are we? Oh yeah. Don't. No. No! <laughs> what is this? This fucking sucks. <sighs> there better be something over there. What is that? What is that? Do I have a costume? I do, but I. How, how do I. I don't know how to show you guys. I don't know how to change my... I don't... It's a, it's a girl in a penguin outfit. Anyways, what is that? I haven't played the newest update. It's been a few months since I've played Minecraft. But no, I'm not staying here. There are flowers, and while I appreciate that, I ain't staying here. Well, this blows. <laughs> Press F5. 
Okay, I'll do it when I get over there. Thank you, though. I very much appreciate it. My laugh is adorable. Oh. <laughs> this is a terrible scene. <sighs> you, Blurred, and Darth playing Doug Fawn in Kings of the Ring and Kim. <laughs> I am a scary person. This is... No. No! Uh, you know what? You know what sucks? The test world that I did, like like fought for five minutes just to like check my recording Ooh, there's a shipwreck <laughs> it was so good it was so pretty there oh there's something out in the distance that's fine i suppose like it'd be cool to build an island world but like i i ain't got anything to build with okay, maybe there's something over here okay oh I, I said i would show you my outfit you said f5 Ooh. hello my, I want to show you my hat. The top is a penguin! Oh, I want to show you so bad. <laughs> okay, well, here I am. Okay, but... You thought it was Monday, sir? <laughs> or you thought I was streaming on Monday. Either way, I suppose it's fair. Today is my day off from work! If I want to change the bird, please... <gasps> it's a dolphin! Please get- Hello? What was that? <laughs> okay, I don't know the most- Um... Guys, I swear if there's nothing over here, I'm restarting. <laughs> this blows! What am I supposed to do with a couple mounds of dirt? Guys, I swear to god, I would- I'm gonna load up the test save. I should have called this just dog shit world. This is unfortunate. Oh, this makes me sad. Okay. Oh yeah, and since the last time I streamed Minecraft, I've actually played Minecraft. So I shouldn't be- oh. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> what do I do? Do I keep going and hoping there's going to be something or do I just start over? <laughs> Zero trees. I'm diving and sprinting. I don't, I'm not good at Minecraft. I'm so, <gasps> there's horses over there. That's a sign, right? How do I? This is unfortunate. Start up a penguin Minecraft server? I mean, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. Rose is just telling you to restart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys, this is this is supposed to be fun and the <gasps> trees. Oh, <laughs> we're saved. <laughs> I'm wasting my first day. God damn. Get out of my way before I turn you into glue. I will fight the horse and I will lose. Okay. Okay. Get down, son. Honestly, <laughs> freaking out is fun. You should go watch my first Minecraft live stream, though, because I freak out quite a bit in that one. It is kind of unfortunate. This. <gasps> my favorite flower! Oh, Lily of the Valley is my favorite one in Minecraft. Fun fact, you all need to know that for some reason. That was a roller coaster. I agree. And a chicken. <gasps> the flowers. Oh, are they so pretty? Oh, I'm gonna take a few for myself. I know. No more for posterity. Hello? No. No. Thank you. Well, these are all the trees I get. Hello, excuse me. Bro, this fucking... Th <sighs> okay, okay. Should I just play my test world? It's really pretty here. I like it. Here, even if... <laughs> Even if we don't play it, I just want to show you it. It's so pretty! There's this, you know, big old lake area. There's, like, 
I'm blanking on what clay right here. It's very pretty. I'm just like, I'm just heading towards this coal over here. It's like animals around. There's this big, oh, there's, there's fire. Is that a bad sign? Or is that a good sign? Play test. Okay. We can play my test world. Um, I need to move the microphone out of my way because it's right in the way of my hot bar, which makes things difficult. Guys, I am so ashamed of my setup. Okay. Wait, no, I need stone to find that, don't I? No. We are already so much further than in the last one. Five minutes here versus five minutes there. There is a clear victor. Rage quits Minecraft due to lack of vegetation. <laughs> the benefit of none, you can keep what you have for compensation of the agony of last world. Now, if only I spawned this in the cheats and I could spawn in the flowers I like. I just that makes for the time of days. It's my day. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, it really is like a, a pretty little mini house, you know? Okay. Okay, the penguin, which is... <laughs> Y'all silly mode. You can see the top of your head if you open inventory. <gasps> oh! <laughs> there it is! Look how cute it is! <laughs> Look, it's so adorable. I'm a little penguin. Okay. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That's all I needed to know. What time of day is it? Yes, it is daytime time of day. Well, there is day and night. I didn't know you wanted me to be so specific. We can argue about this all day. There isn't much of it left. Okay. So... How was your guys' week? Or it is Tuesday. There hasn't been much of a week left. Well, how was last week? What you what had you did? Mine was exciting, personally. Kind of tough. But so hello. Hi. Oh great. That was kind of was less than graceful. Quarantine, so it's boring as hell. That's fair. I had work. I went back to work after being gone for a month. I want to see what's over there. And <laughs> some of them said they didn't expect me to come back. And I'm like, Jesus. The turnover rate there isn't great, though. Like, it leaves a little bit to be desired, I must admit. But uh, it happens. Sometimes... When you're understaffed, you just hire whoever you can. And sometimes those people are less than ideal. And it happens. Apparently it was wild, though. Good luck, son. Your senior year started yesterday. That's fun. Is it online or in person? I know some places are going, like, back to school now. At least where I live. So I'm curious. Trained your skills with your graphic kit. Ooh. Fancy. You got another car. Come on. How many do you have now? Saying another scares me. My car sounds like it's gonna break down at any point in time. Try not to die of boredom and or stress. That's fair. Let's see. Let's see, you head away from the sounds of fire and destruction and I will investigate. Ah, <gasps> egg. How many? Okay, yeah, I got enough. I got enough. Wrong one. I again have <laughs> no more cars for you. You own two. I own a van that I technically don't own because it used to be my mom's. 
and they gave it to me for my 19th birthday yeah they gave it to me for my 19th birthday because I didn't have a car and that made like getting a job significantly harder and you know when they want you to get a job having a way to get there makes that significantly easier so I got my mom's van which I was happy for, because even though I prefer driving smaller cars, I know how to drive the van, which is better than nothing. And, hello? Excuse me. Which is better than nothing. And so now I have a job, and I have an income, which is crazy. I haven't had that in a Excuse you! I haven't had that in a while. The SAT-like exam you have in your country at the end of the year. Uh, yeah, that's less than ideal, I suppose. Everything will go all right, though. You know why? Because I believe in you. Can I at least cover up my house before nighttime? I'm scared. Okay. Look at these skills. Look at these skills. Move. Guys, we are almost fully concealed. This is a lot better than the last time I played, because the last time I lived in a hole in the ground. And now, thank you very much. I will take this. I am going to take this. I need to kill these for now. And boom. Does it look weird to anyone else? It looks weird when I move around. Anyways, um, it's it's kind of like a window <laughs> you like that it's it's very natureful in here i like it oh no i needed to keep that shut it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. Oop. don't even know don't even know i don't even have a door in here <laughs> let's see remember that this year last year try asking tom to play it Let's see, sacrifice your last year to the devil to have a better future in my country. That's really funny. I like that. Let's see, my senior year is, oh, there's a chicken. Hello. Let's see, how did I spend my senior year? Um, I actually had a solid group of friends. I don't talk to any of them anymore, unfortunately, um, once quarantine hit. I'm really bad at keeping in contact with people. That is like my fatal flaw. <laughs> Um, and so since I didn't see them every day, it just, I didn't get to see them ever again, especially since I moved like an hour away and I didn't have any way of driving and it was, you know, the pandemic, so we didn't, like, weren't able to visit very much, you know, you know, could be like that. It's okay. I spent my senior year playing D&D, &D, um, dating a toxic guy, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I skipped school a little bit, not a whole ton because I'm a goody two shoes, but like skipped school a little bit, you know, to feel that rebellion that I was lacking in my life from being said goody two shoes. Okay, you know what, Colin? Just because it's true doesn't mean you gotta say it. Should I? I didn't bring my crafting bench with me. That's all right. No. I had friends who played D&D. You always wanted to try it. It was so much fun. I really liked the guy who usually DM'd for us. He was very nice. We were very cool. He was very rich and we went and spent the night at his house a lot. He lives in like the fancy neighborhood. So we could go out for walks at like 3 a.m. And it wasn't scary because I was surrounded by a group of boys. I went to boy sleepovers. That was so much fun. <laughs> it's so much more different from girl sleepovers. Well, not too different, but like, it's weird. I don't know how else to describe it. Hello? Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, my mom started letting me, like, go to sleepovers with boys. Eee! You know, so... That was fun. I hung out with people quite a bit more, even if I had to leech rides off of them. You know? Oh, I hate the sound of spiders. 
my friends with you because you see them every day. That's fair. And that doesn't mean, you know, they're not your friend or you don't care about each other. It's just, you know, some people are, you know, you just don't keep in contact with them. And that's fine. It doesn't mean they matter less to you or they don't make a difference in your life or anything. It's just, you know, some people you don't stay in contact with. It happens. There will be other people you do stay in contact with. And that's cool. There are some people that you don't need to stay in contact with and you can just, you know, pick up where you left off. I have most of my friends from uh, where I used to live in Minnesota. I go without talking to most of them for months on end and then like I have one thing to say to them like out of the blue and we talk for like a couple days or something and then we go back to not talking anymore and it's fine. <sighs> Get me out of here. <laughs> so, reviews today mouse while leaving the stream open in the background. There you go. See, multitasking. What was I gonna build? I had no direction for this. I see. Let's see, sounds like a pain. Go buy slime. Slime is really going through in it, huh? <gasps> is it almost daytime? No, not even close. Can I fight a skeleton? Can I at least make a door? <laughs> I had just enough, that's cool. Oh, I can have two doors if I so wish. Oh, I'm scared. Guys, guys, I'm feeling. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> that was not cool. <laughs> well, I found him at least. Oh my god. That was scary. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna build yourself a future? Excuse you! Are you saying I don't have a future? Because I very much have tentative plans. Hello, can I go in this hole? Do I have auto jump on? That's kind of annoying. Can I fix that? Hello? Options. Where would that be? Controls? Is this it? Auto jump. No, it's right there. Okay. skeleton one. I want to put a door down though. <laughs> okay. Thought you were a rebel screaming like that. I, okay, I'm not a rebel. I'm very much a scaredy cat. Despite the penguin hat. But, I um, I thought I was better, but it's been a few months and I'm realizing how unequipped I am and okay. What? I did it. <laughs> do you know how scared I was to do that? Um, spoiler alert, very. Um, can I just... You know what I can do? I can make a sink sword. Boom. I already have a pickaxe, and if I more sticks. I can make. Oh, that's a lot. Make that. Hello? What are these yucky sounds that befall me? Hang on. Let's see. You're very late. That's okay. Local penguin versus a pile of bones. Place your bets, ladies and gents. <sighs> Honestly, you should probably vote for the pile of bones. Did you do a smart girlfriend's need reads you a bedtime story? Absolutely. I just need to find a bedtime story. <laughs> Is that something you can easily find online? I mean, probably, but like easily online. You know? I just want to do daytime. I'm much braver in the daytime. Is this riveting content yet? I hope you're enjoying yourself because I'm having a lot of time of my life. Um, where should I make another door? <gasps> I see daylight. It's coming. <gasps> I 
I need a bed? God, I do. I saw a sheep earlier, and I just ran away from it because, um, exploration. Oh! <laughs> You're scary. You're looking weird. Hello? Okay, bye. Should I go out there and kill him? Should I show him what for? What if I die? Ah! Oh my god, he's just on fire. Oh no! Are you proud of me? I didn't die. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Terrified Gwenny versus the monsters of the night. Oh, they're scary. Oh, there's another one over there. Should I get him? I'll have so many. Bo I don't have any bones, but I could have bones. <laughs> that could have come across better. But I saw a sheep over here the other day. And I think. He thinks I want a sheep. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi, come here. I swear it was easier to kill them with a wooden axe than a stone sword, which probably makes sense to a lot of you, but I'm kind of dumb. I know axes are better than swords now. I still think a sword should work better. That's my professional opinion. Let's see. No one get away from the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back. Thanks. I'm here. I have a friend for you. It's called my stone sword. It's cows. Moo. 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 Oink, 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 oink. Let's see, I need more sheep. I'm gonna lose my house like this. But you know what? Adventure is out there. I need more sheep. With less cooldowns, you can attack faster. I see. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> this is not a wholesome stream, boys. A chicken was murdered! No. Um, it's for the greater good. I promise. <gasps> it's the flowers I like. <gasps> There's so many of them. Oh. You know my other favorite flowers? I love tulips. I think they're tulips in this game. But they're so pretty. I love the little, little white ones and the pink ones. And the red ones and the orange. I just like all the tulips. The weapon recharge system. I have a vague understanding of it. Like this, the is it tiny, tiny bit. Blood of innocent animals we use to fuel the survival of Chad Penguin. Well, no one's ever called me a Chad before. You know, howdy gamers. It's good to see you. I'm here for fangirl over Minecraft flowers. Stop that. Don't leave me. I just, they're kind of, they're just pretty. You know? I'd love to find a flower field. That would be so cool. I made it! <laughs> Look at me go. What's over there? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My ankle! Look at me, I'm basically Dream. Dream Minecraft, you'd know him. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Ow. Let's see. I wanna climb the mountain. I wanna feel powerful. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. A staircase to the top. <gasps> wow. <gasps> what if I build my house out here? 
I already built one, but like, what if I made another one? What if this island is just me building multiple houses in very scenic areas? Ooh, a swamp! That's an interesting sentence. <laughs> oh, look, Mother Nature has blessed us with swampland. It's beautiful. Wow! It's an avocado! Ankle breaker, literally. Only kids watch Dream. Don't, don't do that to me. Once that time. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not finding many sheep. Do you think I would find sheep in a swamp? Would that make sense? Or no? Ow! Why am I reacting like they actually hurt? I, I, I genuinely don't know. It is simply um, instinct. Ah! You know? Like, if you don't say ow when you, you know, break your ankles in Minecraft, are you actually playing Minecraft? <gasps> oh no, those are trees. I thought it was a witch's hut. They look... Those are strangely generated. <laughs> Hello? Bro, I heard more lava. Oh, it's kind of spooky. What is with these trees over here? That's not how trees are supposed to grow. Daily Minecraft. She's a tiny little soul. Don't kill her too much. Yeah. I got some bees. <gasps> There's more sheep over there. I told you guys, and you doubted me. I can't believe you. Okay. Push. No. <laughs> I, I promise, I'm Minecraft Pro. Oh, I miss. Let's see. Oh yeah, so I, it's been like 10 minutes since I've talked about it, but I went back to work the other week and a lot of stuff happened while I was gone. Like, let's see, there's one guy, I remember, he got kicked out of his girlfriend's house, that was while I was there, but he, um, got fired because he didn't come back to work, because he didn't live within commutable distance, you know? And then, let's see, another guy got fired and took his wife and kid with him, because, which is sad, because his kid was on my crew, and I miss him dearly. He was fun. We were just starting to become kind of buds. And, you know, the kind of friends that, like, you tell each other you hate each other and how much you loathe their existence. That that was my friend. My coworker friend. And then I told him I'd be back in, like, three weeks, and then I never saw him again. So. <gasps> Puppies! Oh! Hello! Oh, my God. Are you gonna give me? <gasps> it's like wool generators. Oh, oh, this is. Is this Animal Planet? Do they only go after sheep? Where is it? Yeah, they only go after sheep, don't they? I have so much wool now. I could make two beds. I'd have a double bed. I'm living large. Let's see. I feel like a nomad. I don't know where I'm going, but I'll find a place. You know. Don't kill the puppies! What is wrong with you? No, no, the puppies are our friends. They gave me wool and sustenance because they didn't eat. Oh my god! <laughs> I mentioned this on my Discord server, but yesterday, not even like four dr minutes into my drive home from work, there was this hawk that was like carrying meat or like flesh or whatever. It was he holding something in its talons and I hit it with my van and it dropped its meat on my car. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Hello, horses. It was exciting. <laughs> it was thrilling and I hope it never happens again because I didn't enjoy it. It was kind of gross. <gasps> bees! Oh, I love bees in Minecraft. Oh, that's fun. I don't know if I'm allergic to bees. I feel like everyone's, like, in their life been stung at least once. I've never been stung as far as I'm aware. So I don't know if I'm allergic. Is that how it works? I don't know, guys. So 
don't make um, a group of bees angry at me because I might just die. That's kind of cute little bear. We could like build like a little, little bridge if I like build him the right bear. Oh guys, it could be cute. Probably impractical, but like it, it could, it could be cute. You know, I just want to run around and collect things. Does anybody else do that in Minecraft? I love going mining, even if I don't do shit with what I am mining. I like strip mining because that's fun. <gasps> What's over there? What is that? You're never allergic to anything? Did you catch the hawk though? No, I hit it with my car and it flew off. I don't think it grabbed its meat, but it dropped. Oh, bye Toffee. It's good to see you though. Kill the bees? No, they'll get angry at me. And I'd prefer they didn't be that way. US fear is losing because it can mean the most to you. That, I mean, yeah. I'm afraid of being left alone. Let's see. What's it? There are trees up there? Wow. It was getting nighttime. I didn't even realize. Whoa. Oh, no. That's okay. I'll fight my way through the night. And probably die in the process. If I'm on it, no, I, I can make a bed now. There's no need to be needlessly careless. Let's see. Can I, can I, oh my god, please let me into the, please let me in. Please let me in. Oh my god. Okay. We're set. We're good to go. Okay. Aha. Alright. Let's see. Oh, okay. Alright, I came prepared. Let's see. And, 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 and. I'm not graceful in the slightest. Let's see. I can make a bed now. Look at me go. I have to make a new crafting bench. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not upset. Like right there. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then. Hello? What'd I do that for? I'll put it right here. No. No. No, I put, I put it right here. Yeah! Look at me. I'll follow this out. Yeah! Let me go. Okay, I can keep it. Oh, silence for Gwen's pickaxe. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Um, it will be dearly missed, except it won't because it was made out of wood. Um... Is there anything out here to kill me? No. Ooh, there's more coal there. Should I just leave this? Or should I take it with me? Mm. I kind of just want to find a village because that would just make my life so much more- Ah! Hello? <laughs> Safe. Do I have? I can't make armor. <sighs> yeah, I guess I will have a spawn point for when I do come back. I suppose. That's scary. I had my life flash before my eyes. Oh. Please be nice. Oh, I hate spiders. Oh no! <laughs>
That only startled me a little bit. Uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> go now I can go back that way I go go find my other house and go build at spawn I could break my bed over here Kid, no I won't head back to spawn I think because it was very nice over there I have to admit I guess most of it is, um, planes in between here. I think, I think these are planes. I don't know. They're, they're like rolling fields. You see the roll? Yeah, you do. <laughs> the bees! Oh! I want them so badly. I love bees so much. They're so freaking adorable, even though I can show you the what's the size of one. They're cute. And I love them. They're my friends. <laughs> You're friend shaped. <laughs> what kind of house am I gonna build? I was good thinking like a cottage, but like Ah! Hello? Are you in there? <gasps> you bitch! Hey! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I didn't know there was two of them. <laughs> that was fun. Let's go do that again. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm calm. I'm cool. I should have filled my hunger all the way. Maybe that's an excuse for just me being bad. Oh, if I if I if I had filled my hunger all the way. Oh, the flowers I like. Oh, well, I want some now. My my comfort flower. I feel better. Oh, I want to go in there so bad, but I don't have anything. Where'd planes go? Slap him with your penguin hands. He's ready for a fight. I'll give him a fight. I also love these flowers, just so you know. Just so you guys are aware. Oh, the bees! It is around here. I know it. Yeah, the blue flowers, the corn flowers. I love them. Hello? I don't need your sass. What if I die? I'll just wait till I get shot at again. Does that sound good? More flowers. Aha! good. 
we're fine, we're cool, it was just a little setback, it's fine, I'm not upset, it's fine. Okay, okay, let's find the house we were at, for no reason except, um, I need a little comfort in my life, and I should probably smelt some food. But, other than that, we can just go, hello. Probably around here. There's a lot of... What are you? Donkeys. That's what they are. Sorry, had a brain fart. A little bit of a senior moment. I am an old lady. You know? If you make a suspicious stew with the blue flowers, you get a jump boost. That's cool! I didn't know that. I don't know nearly as much as I thought I did about Minecraft. I used to know so much about Minecraft when I was like 12. Do I have mushrooms? I've seen mushrooms exist. Ah, oh, there's so many flowers. Hello? It's so pretty. Oh, look at the pretty. Hello? Hmm. So secret. That's cool. <gasps> what if I just, what, what, what if I build my house here? Wouldn't that look cool with the mismatched wood and like, oh, I can't run. I'm hungry. Okay. Like, a lot of saturation. I can't go bye bye. I, 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 I do my house here. <gasps> Ooh! I missed so much stuff. Curse of vanishing, of course. Curse of... Hello? Hello? I didn't mean to do that. Where are the scary noises coming from? What? <gasps> Minecraft is a lot more spooky now. Guys, did you know Minecraft... Hello? <sighs> did you know Minecraft is a scary game? <laughs> Honestly. That's a key of sitting I don't know what Curse of Vanishing does, but it says curse, and I'm scared. Jumping on raw mutton like it's nothing. Yeah, when you, when you don't got a furnace, you just get what you can get. Anyways, I was about to mine this tree down. Mine it, chop it. You know what I meant. I'm having a rough time. I woke up at like seven this morning, which shouldn't be a lot because I usually wake up at six thirty, something like that. I think. Oh, there's more skeletons, so I'm going scared. I guess. Bees. Oh, they make me happy. <laughs> There's the rest of the shipwreck down here. That's... Uh. I heard scary sounds. I leave. I will take my departure now. Well, now I can't see. This was like ruined to the point of no return. Uh, so this is good to see. I can just, do I have a crafting bench on me? I do not. Why am I not surprised? Let's see, put a block of dirt right there. It's for the most part all plugged up. I'll put my torch right here, more in the center of things. And then I, can I make a, can look at me go and I can't okay no stop that Ooh. let's fucking
Thank God. <laughs> There's another chest somewhere in here. Hmm. Kill a pig. Uh, if I see one, absolutely. You know. Let's leave you to it then. so many powers this is nice this is not i can is it that no it's this isn't it yeah let's see i got that and maybe i can have a single gold bar that's always fun got all i got i suppose i i like this it's cool it's quaint it's nice Save a sheep. Kill a pig to save a sheep. Dead stick. Very good. Um, can I make Dang it? It's fine, I'm not upset. This is the truth. Would I ever lie to you? I could have just stolen I could have used this chest, right? He I'm Guys, I'm not smart. You have to be nice. Press F3. Why? That doesn't matter to me. <laughs> You're silly. Let's see. No, I want that. She's melting with food. And that good 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 meat. Let's see. I oh, it's cords, so you don't lose the house. That's so nice of you. <laughs> I'll let you look at them for a second longer if you need. And press the book. I know the book is how you get crafting recipes. I'm not trying to craft anything right now. Should I make armor or better tools? So, I don't know. I could do either. And I'm fine with either, but... I'm taking suggestions. Make a shield. I... I never use shields. Because I just flail around and... <sighs> you guys want to make me a... Want to make me make a shield. Okay, I can. Isn't it like... No. Um... No. <sighs> Fine, I'll look at the... Oh, okay. Well, I was close. I was really close, guys. You know? Use your irons for a pickaxe first. That is not a bad idea. Let's see. The book is so much easier. I forgot about that. Okay. You tried. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Okay. Okay. Um. Let's do that. Uh. Okay. Do I don't have any cooked food. Now I do. Here we go. All right. All right. Plug this up again. Ah, I used the wood that came with this house for that. No, I could, I could, I, 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 I could, uh, um, uh, you know, make um a door. Yeah. Oh. Give me the one. Now I hate birch doors. Just kidding. I. Oh my god. What am I doing? Guys, guys, I'm 
I'm being dumb. I can't do anything right. Just end my suffering now. What, what? I was, hello? Okay, that's F, good to know. I was so confident coming into this and that was my downfall. I wanna find more. It's right here. Ah, <gasps> there is more. Oh my God! Time. This is why I always play on easy. So, hi. It's good to see you. That scared me so bad. Is there a hole in my house now? Not on this side. How was I supposed to expect that? How was I supposed to know that was going to happen to me? Oh, well, it cleared some area out. You know, gave me more space. That's nice. Thank you so much. Well. What is that sound? Wait, am I hearing right? Is that just a donkey? That's why you use a shield? I didn't know a creeper was coming. How do I use my shield? That? Okay. Well, guys, I didn't know. Guys, you need to be a lot nicer to me because I will cry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I never use a shield. Of course I wouldn't have used it on instinct. How was I supposed to know that was supposed to happen? You know, when a creeper falls on your head, I don't tell you when you do Oh, well, if you use the shield, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> What am I doing in here? I'm just trying to look for treasure. I'm an explorer. Let's see. I, uh, I'm scared now. I don't feel safe. I never feel safe anymore. This is my new constant. Okay. Well, I'm not finding any treasure. I'm sorry to disappoint you. This was, oh, okay. This was not my day. Was, hello. Patch that up. And I guess I will. Hello. I'm glad you have fun. Have a good day, Rinku. I will continue to struggle. Ah! Oh, it was a bee. <laughs> There's a bee? Hello, it's good to see you, Christopher. Oh, why did I start throwing dirt? Yeah. Oh, they're sharing a flower. I'm, I have the best neighbors. Look, they live in this tiny home. What real estate they have. Make a campfire and put it under the beehive. I tried doing that. I, I, I feel like I always do it wrong. Because, like, I want bees as much as the next bird. Well, I don't want to be down here. Ah! Mm, okay, we're good. Eating. Do it more. Oh, it's done. Well, here's my home. Um, it's very nice. I like it a lot. Um, it's not very spacious, but like it looks cool and I didn't have to build it, which is always a good thing, you know? Let's see, maybe I, maybe we don't need to have 
um, sand flooring. I mean, maybe it's um, part of the aesthetic, but, <gasps> but I'm tired. I wanted to take a nap today and then I couldn't fall asleep. Oh, just kidding. It's, it's nighttime again. Um, I would love if you explored the cave. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> you guys are telling me to like smelt sand and like put the campfire under the bees. It's like, I know these things. I play Minecraft. It's just been a couple months. kind of amazing. I know I seem like a dumbass, and I am most of the time, but like, come on, come on, you guys, this is scary, I need torches, <gasps> that lichen, or did I look wrong, no, that wasn't lichen, I'm just kind of seeing things, oh, oh my god, it's a bee, it's a bee, my name is Michael with a B. Where's such a stop? Where? What? Where's the B? There's a B? Sorry, I'm not funny. You know this. I know this. Oh, I hear a spider. This is very scary. get some more coal. That's always nice. And then I'll get some iron. So I can maybe hopefully throw in some armor eventually and feel a little bit safer. Oh, iron looks weird. Yeah, I haven't played the newest update, so I haven't seen like everything they've added yet. I know it comes in two parts, so it's not like the whole thing that they said it was going to be. But, like, I'm kind of digging that iron comes in nuggets now. Hello. I hear walking and it's not me. This is why in my last live stream I stayed underground the entire time in a little hole. There's a lot here. What the hell? Let's see. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, I hate spiders. I won't go down there though. Okay, come on, Gwen. Don't be a pussy. Even though pussy is my... No oh, my God. Here. Here, I'll get you down. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get you down. I'll get you down. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, there's copper. I need more torches. Oh, no. 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 Oh my god. There are so many. Oh my god. Is is there a spawner down here? <laughs> Ugh, take care of it. That's called work smarter, not harder. There are so many! What does it feel like to be an ASMR content creator? Um, it's really funny that, like, people have heard me cry on the internet. That is... Oh my god! Is it down here? I'm sorry, this is very distracting. Holy shit! It's not over here somewhere. Oh my god. It's 
so loud. Time your attacks. I cried. Which video? Um, crying girlfriend needs reassurance or something like that. I think. No, I got farther away. What? I should probably light this up anyhow, though. It just keeps going. God damn. Where are my friends? There, you see, when I'm calm and I don't feel stressed, I can do it. I'm quiet. Can do it. What is that up there? Thank you. Where the fuck was this spawner I promised myself? I know it's not over here. It was probably not over here. Oh my god. But I meant to do that. That um that was all part of the plan. Okay. Oh my god. Why is it so loud? That's pro gamer move right there. Yes it is. Should I just start digging in a direction to look for it? <laughs> they sound so fun. They're having a party. I want I want to be invited. Can I join the party? Dear God. Yeah, I don't know how to use a shield, if I'm honest. So, um that, the, the, this is my formal apology for not using a shield. I know you guys are in love with shields, and if you love shields so much, why don't you just marry them? Is it down? Fuck yeah, we're gonna be gigs. I mean, I know how to use it. Like, I don't get it. But <laughs> Not what I wanted. These are very loud party animals. Like if I was their neighbors, I'd probably make a formal complaint. I just want to know where they are. Now I'm just it's almost annoying at this point. Marry a shield sounds good. Jokes on you, you already have married to their shield. You've been together for over 20 years. You know what? I'm very- OH MY GOD! <laughs> that scared me. It's only one. Why did he just sit there? Try to look at every direction here when the suns are higher. I'm only using one. I think it's 
that direction. Okay. Country singer queen. Country boy, I love you. <sighs> I'm so stumped. Where they are, guys. I just feel like I'm a crazy person digging around. Is it cheating to turn on the captions for sounds? Music and sound. Is it cheating if I turn on subtitles? I have to know, guys. So. Is it that way? Is this what it's supposed to be telling me? Guys, I am so confused. It's better if I don't find the zombie orgy, but I have to know! I have to. I like... It is my civic duty. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I am so focused. I want to find them so bad. Oh my god, I just want to know. I have to, I just... Thanks buddy, it's good to see you. I found three glow swids, okay. I... They're so loud. They angry. I feel stressed out. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be this difficult. they're below me. I'll give that a shot. This is so annoying. I think they the sounds got quieter though. I think might not be below me. Honey comb on a string makes candles. Imagine it goes boom now. What, I get jump scared by a creeper again? I wouldn't be surprised. It seems like a common theme around these parts. It's happened numerous times. This is discouraging. You can probably tell- oh, my pickaxe is about to die. Hello? Can I leave? <laughs> Why? I'll be back. I'll come back. When I come back, these zombies can say good night. I'm Jesus Christ. 
God, I want to find them so bad. Oh my God, this is so annoying. <sighs> Peace and quiet. Outside. It is dark outside. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, I can't rest now. There's monsters nearby. I did go to sleep, okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, I love the smell of burning bones in the morning. Kill them. I mean, I'll sure try my hardest. No! Shield. Aha! See? I did the thing, guys. Look at me go. Yucky. Okay. I need to eat. <laughs> I suppose I should go drop off everything I picked. Hello? Everything I picked up. Um, while on my excursion. I don't feel safe. I feel disoriented about the thing I just got but... I need to recuperate myself. Um, and I would greatly prefer if there weren't spiders on my roof, because spiders? Some of the grossest things in all of Minecraft. Ooh, I can hear zombies and I'm mad. <sighs> what can I say? All the creepers like me. No, green boy's not gonna get me. Bring my bed underground. Is that a plane? Oh, my knees are bent really tall because I have a really bad gamer setup. It hurts so much. Okay, I'm up. I'll be all right. Are planes real? If you break a bag, take the spawn point, just leave it. Yeah. I'd rather die in there and then go grab my stuff really quickly than die in there and run a half mile to the, or never find my stuff ever again. And that's the honest truth of it. Right. Oh my god, they're still so loud. Why are they like this? Right, my chest is full. That's fine. I have another one right here. Um Doors. I should probably make a new sword. Um, but after that, I am good to go. Let's see. I want that. Okay. Okay. Take two. Let me try this again. Everything's gonna be alright. Da 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 da
Should I just dig straight down? Will that ultimately lead to my demise? But it might be funny. Oh my god! You are the ones who've been annoying me. <laughs> you know what I'm expecting in like seven seconds for another creeper to just drop on my head. Is a spawner. Yep. That makes sense. No! This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> Neighbors too loud? Kill them! What else would you do? I'm confused. be an epic gamer move to like save the spawner so I could make like is this a zombie spawner? No it's not. It's just really dark. Oh I thought this was cobblestone. I'm just kind of stupid aren't I? Dang it. Well but there's more zombies. Gwen plays Subnautica? I hear it's scary. <laughs> Like, or at least probably scary by my standards. I don't know how I would fare. I haven't played many scary games in my day. I, uh, I've played Five Nights at Freddy's. I got to, I played it once. I got to, like, night three? Yeah, night three. I died on night three, though. Um, but I did it. You know? I don't think I can get very far in Five Nights at Freddy's, though, because, like, I know the mechanics for just Chica, Foxy, and Bonnie, but literally nobody else. Not Freddy. No! This is where I take my leave. It was nice meeting you. Goodbye! Okay. Well. I've murdered the neighbors. Oh, by my standards, it's utterly terrifying. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> if the game is scary, you could name the stream Watch a Girl Scream Underwater. That's only slightly terrifying. Should I go exploring? Like, not a cave? Should I? What's in the water? Is that a dolphin? That is a dolphin. That's pretty neat. <sighs> Your sleepy girlfriend ASMR falls asleep on the live stream. That's me. Oh, Owie. I thought 
I was gonna make that. And now I just look kind of dumb. That's okay. What's on this beach? It's just the beach. Oh, the flowers I like. Ever thought of playing Terraria? I know zero, of nothing about Terraria except it. It didn't it come up for Minecraft, and wasn't it like two D? Like basically, it's just in one straight line. Bruh, e I just did. I just threw my stakes. Is it getting dark again? Ow! Oh, I gotta go to bed. Otherwise, I'm gonna get my ass eaten. And as fun as that sounds, I'm okay. Do you speak pork cheese? Pork cheese? Pork cheese? I do not. I can't talk. I am sorry for this. Triscuits sound fire at the moment. I recently found out that Triscuits were named Triscuits, not because of three or anything, but because they were made by electricity, and that was a selling point. So they were electricity biscuits, Triscuits. Best ten dollars you ever spent. I have so many out. What game do I have so many hours into? I have a lot of time into Stardew Valley. Not as much as some people, but I have a lot, but I've never gotten past autumn. Because I always get to autumn, and I always tell myself, oh, you could have done this instead. We have to start over. So I have a lot of saves. And it's kind of sad at the moment. Dang. I don't speak a lot of languages. I just speak English, and I know, like, a couple words in a couple other languages, but not enough to speak, like, a whole sentence. Yeah, it is- you are correct in saying that it, it is just a shipwreck with a door. Honestly. I mean, I put a couple things in it, but... I, um, I have cornered the housing market. Dude, I am so sorry for yawning. That must be so annoying. <laughs> I want to go in there, but I probably shouldn't. I don't want to face another nightmare. You know? What am I going to find instead? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? So what are you saying? Let's see, where am I? I didn't say out that time. That's character development. Wow. Bruh. <laughs> so, fun fact I work at a car wash, and I mentioned this before, but um, we had a lot of people leave recently. A couple people got fired. So, we are like supremely understaffed at the moment. And, like, there were only three of us one day and we just we are um our services include car washing vacuuming and detailing and saturday we we're just like you know what there are three of us i don't want to detail any cars so we just gave out car washes we people came they're like hi can i get my car detailed we're like no go away they're like okay puppies i don't want to read bones dang it I want a little small puppy dog. I just, I feel the need to go explore and I went that direction already. I don't know where I am anymore. Ow. Oh, there goes my character development. Chocolate milk or strawberry milk? Honestly, chocolate milk. And like... I'm fine if you like it, 
but I hate when fruit is mixed with dairy. Whether it's like ice cream or sometimes yogurt is okay or like strawberry milk or anything. I just, I hate fruit mixed with dairy. It just, it's so gross to me. So I don't like strawberry ice cream or cherry ice cream or anything like that. Okay, hello? Okay, slow down, Speedy Gonzalez. But I don't like fruit mixed with dairy, and I have made my peace. And you can tell me how much you hate me all you want, but it doesn't change the fact that dairy and fruit is kind of yucky. go grab everything from my chest at home and just start running in a direction. Yay. It's a tunnel essentially. Very cool. I want to go running in a direction and not stick around and build something because I don't have the patience for that. Okay, maybe this was zero plan and we will stick to having zero plan. Everyone who likes strawberry flavor and not strawberries needs to see a neurologist. Okay. So, this is purely a me thing. Um, but I don't like strawberries. And, like... <laughs> it's because my dad's allergic to strawberries. And growing up, I used to like strawberries. Like, up until I was four years old. Killing sheep. I used to like strawberries up until I was four years old. And then... When I found out that my dad was allergic to strawberries, I'm like, I hate strawberries. Strawberries are evil and they're out to kill my dad. And I thought, like, if I ate a strawberry and then kissed him or something, he'd just collapse and die. So I conditioned myself to hate strawberries. And, you know, I grew out of that. And I was just like, I don't need to hate strawberries. That's, that's unnecessary. So I ate a strawberry and I'm like, wow, I still hate this. And every now and then, I, I like, I try strawberries every now and then. And it's like, they could be worse. Like, it's not as bad as I used to think they were, but they don't taste nearly as good as they look like they should. Oh, thank God I was able to find my way back. <laughs> Strawberry flavored things are good though, because they don't taste like strawberries, you know? Strawberry flavor, that's all right, that's all right. Let's see, I'll bring my these and these and these, and I'll bring my flowers, and I'll bring that and that and that. And there's him and some more wood. I'll bring the cobbles and leather and one for each deal. And then that'll do. That'll do me for today. Let's see, do I have any wood for me again? Sorry, I am abandoning my home. I'm going to go run into a direction. What did I put in this chest? Ooh, I kind of want to bring these, huh? I'll bring that. Oh, my inventory's full. Hello? How did I switch these? There we go. It's almost... It's almost nighttime. Where is the sun? Oh. Right there. Oh, but my bee neighbors! Oh. That's okay. This will be our last night in here, and then I'm gonna run in that direction. Go find what's over there. No, maybe that direction. Yeah! You can craft armor. <gasps> I can craft armor. <gasps> you are so smart and I love you. I just need to put my crafting bench down again. I should have smelted all this food before I broke my, okay, okay, I guess. I know I just tore apart my little apartment. You can craft armor. Oh, feels good, man. Can I do a helmet? Yeah. Not in my heart. Oh, look 
how cute I am. You can't see my penguin hat, though. That's okay. That's okay. This was... Oh, this is so last night. That's okay. You're playing Minecraft. Like you stream, Jay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take some of this, and I don't want to keep this on me. I'm okay. Okay, make sure we Yeah, no, I guess I'll organize my inventory a small bit while we wait for the snow to clear a little bit. And then... Seems fine for now. I'll probably just leave it there. Yeah. Boombaya. The clown slash first fireball dude in Clark Castle. I see. <laughs> oh my god. Poor strawberry. That's fair. I'm very unobservant. I want to sleep at night. It's Okay, it's not quite night. Maybe I was wrong. But, like, we could pretend it's night. Ah, I don't open the door. So. I'm hungry. <laughs> All I've eaten today was an ice cream cone. Because, um... I decide how I want to live my life, and this is what being adult means. So, <laughs> for the last few days, all I've eaten for breakfast was ice cream. Because it's been a rough week. I took some time off work because my fiancé is gone to boot camp. So I spent a couple weeks with him and I almost lost my job over it, but that's fine, you know? If I lost my job over it, I would have still went because I can always find another job, you know? But, um, so he left for boot camp and it was the first time ever that I wasn't able to talk to him as, like, as much as I wanted. Ah, oh, bye chum. Be a later, bro. And so, but I got a call from him on Sunday, so that was cool. He isn't even at boot camp yet and I guess it'd be like that. And then I was going to stream on Sunday, but I was expecting that call. But he called at like 7 a.m. What time is it for me? It is 1.41 p.m. So it's not too late. I started streaming for me at noon. So could be worse, could be worse. Yeah, so I've been having a rough time. And it's only been a week so far. And there's like 23 more weeks to go. So that's fun. I wonder if I'll ever happen upon my old house again. I thought it was over that way where I was going, but it doesn't seem to be. You know? And that's okay, though. I will find a new home. And it will be the greatest. Mm, how do I get out of here? This is not the exploration I wanted. <gasps> More bees! Oh! Cutest Minecraft bug. Where am I going? This is okay. So everything about bees is adorable in this game. Mm, where is this? This. This is better. See, it's so pretty. I haven't looked into downloading like texture packs or anything because I really like the way vanilla looks. I just want to get my sheep. Oh, it's so cute around here. And I think when Minecraft looks too realistic and it's like shaders packs and stuff, it looks dumb. Because everything looks realistic, but also cubes. Where is the- oh, that's, that's a 
tiny island. <gasps> Am I going to see snow? Why are you up there? Can you get down? Are you okay? Do I not have dirt? I suppose this will work. I suppose. Okay. What do we have here? Where am I now? <gasps> no alpacas! Do you think I'll see mountain goats? These are pretty cool though. over here. I thought that was a house. Oh, that's the cutest little squeak. Oh. <gasps> Goats. Tiny island you saw is still more fulfilled than the entire previously world in the beginning of the stream. You are absolutely right. It's kind of unfortunate. Look at these goats. I would have preferred we spawned on them. <sighs> Don't do this to me. Really pretty plains areas. Do these guys hurt you if you try killing them? They don't give you anything, do they? So I guess I don't need to. Oh. One of them bod. Is that what you say they do? Yeah. It's very cute and I love it very much. I used to hate the way spruce looks and now it's one of my favorites and I might take some. I used to know how to make a really cute cottage, and now I don't anymore. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, they've got tulips. I love tulips. Oh, I'm dying of hunger. It looks like a pond that has faced a drought and is dying. Oh, I love these flowers. Oh, they're my favorite. It's by a spruce forest. Oh, it's magical. It, oh my god. That was a lot. It's magic. You know, never believe it's not so. It, it looks absolutely magical around here. It's beautiful. I'm talking to a girl for like six months now. In the last few weeks, she's been avoiding me. She's like, I mean, that's strange. She doesn't want to do anything like meeting either. <sighs> Bitches be like that, I guess. You know, it's one thing, you know, if you like have been talking to someone, you maybe think you like them, but then you realize you don't. You feel kind of awkward about it, but at least be like straightforward about it, right? Like, it's one thing to be like, I don't feel this way about you. Or like, you know, or I don't feel the way you might feel about me. But it's like, just, just be straightforward about it. Like, we can still be friends. Oh, a murder happened here. And that's rich coming from me because, like, in high school, I was very awkward when it came to boys, like, whenever I got asked out. I wouldn't say I got asked out a lot, but like, I mean, I could probably count on my hands how many times this happened. And like, you know, it hasn't always been by someone I liked. And then I'd be asked out and then I wouldn't know how to react. And I just kind of stopped talking to the person for a little bit, just to like kind of distance themselves. I would want them, I would rather them have hated me than like, have a crush on me and not, and me not like them back. So, I'm not saying it was a good thing to do, but that, that is what happened, and that's how I felt about it. And I'd like to think now I'm more mature about that sort of thing, but, like, like that was maybe um, freshman year that I was describing, like senior year when one of my friends asked me out and I didn't like him back. I tried being friends with him, but then he didn't want to be friends with me, you know, because he was hurt by that. And I get that, you know, and that's fine. I understand. But like, it was a bummer. And then, or at least that's what I thought. And I, I tried talking to him and stuff. I tried hanging out with him, but he was pursu pursuing another girl and I wanted to give him a little space too, you know, and he was, you know, 
not talking to me as much anymore in like class and stuff, which is fine. It's just unfortunate. And then like at some point he messaged me and he's like, hi, we can hang out again if you don't hate me. It's just like, I don't hate you. You don't hate me. You promise? He's just like, yeah, I don't hate you. And I'm like, cool. Because that's my biggest concern. I'm always worried that people hate me. Because I grew up, I was so annoying when I was little. So like, I grew up with like a lot of people disliking me for valid reasons. Again, I was annoying. But now I'm constantly worried that, like, if somebody does not give me constant validation that they like me and are friends with me, that uh, they hate me. Um, another fatal flaw? I am insecure. So, bro, it be like that, you know? People are kind of silly sometimes. And we all have to exist on this earth together. Together? Together. So just try and get along because we're not going away anytime soon oh more beehives stuck in my head all day not all day all week rather and I don't I don't know the chorus I don't know anything beyond the chorus though yeah I feel like a lot of people are insecure too I feel like do you think that's because of social media or do you think everyone deep down has insecurities because I feel like there are people that like don't think they have insecurities and they probably don't have insecurities or do you think everybody just innately has insecurities I don't know you always force yourself to smile around others so you don't look awkward you don't think about I feel that though I like will constantly try and be bubbly even if like you know bubbly and happy-go-lucky and like trying to have a good time with everyone even if I feel like you know what I kind of want to just take a nap right now I don't want to talk to people I'd rather just kind of disappear if I'm honest and just kind of just sleep or hibernate <laughs> that's the honest truth but you know what I'm still getting over it because I'm kind of done We all just is surviving, aren't we? Let's see. Um, did I have enough? I do have enough to make a bed. Thank God. I'm gonna take like, or not, maybe I won't, but I probably should take a break. I mean, because I've been streaming for two hours, eventually. Like a five minute break to like pee or drink water. Oh, I have a drink right here. Never mind. <laughs> it's peach mango. It tastes very, very nice. Social media does have a big influence on younger people, and younger people will tell you it doesn't, but it definitely does. And it just be like that. And I don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. So, it's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> and there's a lot of things that like are hard to do without social media. 
like if you want to do anything online like I want to do YouTube it's hard to get yourself out there without the use of social media like I have an Instagram I used to have a Twitter but I didn't like it so I stopped using it people there were just kind of it wasn't healthy so I stopped using Twitter um, I have a snapchat but I don't really use it <laughs> as much as I like kind of wished I would but um It'd be like that. Um, see, and like, I don't use my personal Instagram really much anymore. I only post like life updates and stuff or, you know, a few people on there who probably care, you know? Um, but even those people, I'd probably tell them before, you know, I'd post it on Instagram or anything. So, yeah, I don't know. And like, a lot of the stuff that I used to post is like, you know, usually, because, you know, social media is for posting the best of you, you know. We know this, everybody knows this, everybody just posts, like, the best version of themselves or, like, all the fun stuff that they're doing. They don't post, like, you know, oh, I'm just going to my 9 to 5 and I'm sitting around doing nothing, waiting for a customer or, you know, something like that. You know, everybody puts, like, you know, I went to the beach, hee hee, you know, I posted that, like, I think I showed that I, I went to the beach for the first time and honestly no one cares so sometimes I'm, I, f I find myself like about to post something or like you know kind of brag about something but it's like no no one cares about watching this hey corn dog you're not late I'm just hanging around you know I had for Twitter for two weeks and then you know, installed it again yeah I had it for like a month I want to say and I felt like I was starting to make friends on there, and then, like, drama went down, and I'm like, I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> like, and especially, because Twitter, you know, is kind of notorious for, like, you know, if there's drama, everything gets blown, like, super out of proportion, you know? And it's like, I don't want to be around people who are so easily affected by this sort of thing, or so easily manipulated or swayed or, like, by that sort of thing. So, I just left. I said something really petty, too, I think, as I left. Like, I'm not using Twitter anymore. You guys think it's okay to blah, blah, blah. Something dumb like that. Anyways, but, um, that was me six months ago. I'm changed. <laughs> yeah, we. You know? Bees used to be my favorite cheese in Minecraft. And now it's spruce. I didn't collect any spruce when I saw it, though. I'm kind of dumb like that. You don't think you've ever actually posted a picture of yourself on Insta? I... Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Um, I have to learn a song because uh, Spuddy probably isn't here anymore. But I told her that if she found a picture of my face online or a video of me online, that I would uh, do a song request for her because she likes the way I sing. And she found me. She found, I think, my graduation photo, which was really funny. I don't know. I can't remember if she showed it to me or not, but she knew, like, my school and everything. She said she found it online. She described it to me. She didn't want to take it. She felt so creepy doing it the entire time. I thought it was hilarious. I wasn't too bothered by it because of the buds, but... Um, very few people, like, in my corner of the internet know what I look like. I think that's really funny. I know Cullen has a vague idea of what I look like. Um, Cullen. <laughs> Cullen has his own ASMR channel. He hasn't been posting to it, though. I've been watching, and I'm not seeing anything new. So, um, and then I subscribed to it, and I made uh, a comment on it, but I realized I was using my personal YouTube account, and that one happens to have a selfie of mine and my boyfriend so um you know has a vague idea of what we both look like which is fine it's not too big of a deal you know i just i don't want to be known for my face i want to be known for my art or something dumb like that but um and let's see uh so spud knows what i look like um i think carp knows what i look like i think yeah. I can't... I'm blanking on anyone else. 
Uh, one of my other mods knows what I look like. Because we were friends a while back. And, um, that's probably all the little baby sheep. I'm gonna kill your mother. I think I hit the baby. I feel kind of bad about that. Mine. Yeah. So yeah, if you go looking for me on the internet, I exist. You just gotta know my full name, which I've told numerous times. And improve my real name. You just have to know my full name, maybe the names of the schools I went to, um, the names of the plays I've been in, because I think a few performances or songs or speeches that I've done are online somewhere. But, um, probably not anything too recent except for my graduation photos. Those are probably the only thing the most recent things that are there. Of everything else is from like earlier high school, I think. Like sophomore year, maybe. You forgot the login to your YouTube? Oh my god. That's kind of funny. I use. I shouldn't say that. But. I used to use the same like password for everything i don't anymore i mixed it up a little bit so you can't track me <laughs> or hack me i suppose but um i used to just use the same password that i got when i was like four years old or five years old when i made a webkins account and i've used it ever since My first webkins was a mini unicorn. She was so cute, her name was Sparkles. All uppercase letters. And I'm pretty sure that instead of the last S in Sparkles, it was a Z, so Sparkles. You saw my setup in the mic in the cup? It's a 10,000 IQ room. It's so janky, oh my god. It looks so dumb. Uh, it's a cup that I got um, from a fair at a church booth, I think. From like a Lutheran church or something. And like, I usually just keep pens in the cup, but like, now I have a microphone, so. Uh, that's, this is its new purpose. Since it has found me. So. Let's see. Captain Sparkles. On a seat. If I would search for someone's picture, it would make me feel like a weird spy. And that's how, that's how she felt when she was looking for my picture. She's like, I feel so gross, but I was like, do it. I want to see if you can. That's really funny to me. She's like, I f it feels so wrong. It feels gross and invasive and creepy. I'm like, it's really funny though. <laughs> it's like, if any of y'all find my picture online, let me know. I think that'd be really funny. You have to show me though, because I, I you can't just say I found it and then like not back it up, you know? But you are welcome to go looking for my face. <laughs> I charge you down. Hello? Tummy zombie. I need to find another place to rest for the night. Which will be right here. So many little beds strewn all over the place. It's okay, I have a lot of uh, wool. So I can make as many beds as I want. Are there monsters nearby? No! Mon 
Minecraft is scary. <laughs> Finding penguin IRL picks any percent speed run no glitches. If someone told me, hey, I spent three months searching for your face, I would be very uncomfortable. Because I don't know, I just feel like you were spied. Well, <laughs> it was. It started out as a joke, and then I, I just kept egging her on because I thought it would be really funny. It only took like a couple weeks. It didn't take that long because she took a big break. She spent one afternoon doing trying and then couldn't find me. Spent another afternoon a few weeks later, and then she found it like the next day or something like that. I don't know. But I have like a lot of me on the internet. Like... I, um, have been in theater, like, ever since, like, sixth grade, and, like, a lot of my performances are just online, you know? So, it's not too difficult to find me if you, like, know what to look for. I'm gonna sneeze real quick. <laughs> Sorry. I spent seven years trying to find your face. It's kind of romantic you ignore the creepy bits but like you know just don't so uh what do you need to know about me to find my face um my legal name is gwen stacy uh that's a good place to start i'm i wish i was kidding i'm not kidding i'm not just making a spider-man joke um it is gwen stacy so, uh, if you want to find me, that's where you can start. Hello, jump boost stew. Brown and red mushrooms. That is a fair point. Ah, oh, I don't want to go back. I'll find mushrooms here. Whee. I find foxes here. <gasps> That'd be so fun. Oh. <gasps> Just hear his face. Enjoy. I didn't mean to. That was an accident. It was a pretty funny accident, though. Where are we? I kind of want to find a village and hang out with them. You know? Villages are so cool. I love finding villages. Mm. Oh, we're in a birch for I birch is the worst of like the common woods to find. I hate it. Out of like um spruce, dark oak, oak, and birch. Birch is my least favorite. Spruce, I agree, spruce is the best. Spruce is my current favorite. It used to be oak, then it was dark oak, and now it's spruce. But I have developed a taste. What is the worst wood though? I think um the blue wood is really pretty. The purpley pink wood from like the red trees is pretty cool, but not as cool as the blue wood. And I think oak forests themselves are kind of pretty. It's very light. It feels airy. It feels like it smells really good. You know? I would love to be there. Hmm. You ever watch one of those, um, what are they called? It's like, uh, survival Minecraft long form, uh, videos that are like for like relaxing to go to sleep. I started watching those like a few, like maybe a month ago. They're so nice. Oh, I could build a house right here. Do you want to stop here and build a house? Like, we can take a break from running around. We can build a house here. Can you get a school name, too? Um, no, because that would be too easy. I think if you want to uh, find my school name, because I've said it before, you have to go watching uh, my last live stream. Hello? Oh, that's here. 
Let's see. But I mean, I'll give you a hint. I live in Texas now, and I used to live in Minnesota. So here are your bases. Do with that information what you might. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, and then. What can we do? Can. Oh, if I had grabbed some spruce while I was over there, I'd make a little cottage. That would have been so nice. Google Doc with all this info. That's fine. Honestly, if you did, I'd be impressed. <laughs> I give permission to people to be weirdly invasive because that sounds really funny to me. I don't know, guys. I kind of have zero concern for uh, my safety and well-being. So. That's okay, whatever you find on the internet about me, um, it'll stop at where I graduated. So, you won't find out anything about where I live, or anything weird like that. It'll just, the information about me will stop at my graduation, basically. It'll be okay. Go nuts. I am not too concerned about it. <laughs> so. Let's see. Put a door that no, I'll put it on the inside. Boop. Like me. Give me more torches. Um the back. And then big door. Splash. Splash flash. I'll take it on my back. Um I don't know. Any more torches? Hello? bench down like right here and then do I have I do look at me go I came prepared and then I can also make no because I don't have enough wood are you can I okay it's not too dark let's see gotta make a little don't worry guys, the house is gonna look great. I just, I need a little hut for nighttime so I can sleep in it. This will be the basis of the house. It'll be cute, it'll be quaint. The only thing that you can find out is your voice at the moment. I mean, that's something to base it off of. You be careful with that voice of yours. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna 
Um, I'm going to make a little flower pot and I'll put it right there. These are my big plants. This is the future. Oh, I suppose I should make a bed. This is all right for now. Let me see what it might look like. No, not this. Oh, oh it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute. End, end, end. I should have gotten a spruce sapling because that would have looked really cute. That's fine. That could go with flower. I see. Oh, it is so cute in here. I will make another flower pot. My little cornflower. Can I put another one there? I can. Aha, you cannot stop me. I will decorate my entire house with flowers. Oh, isn't that cute? And then, uh, if I, how do I make a barrel again? I need slabs. I, it's a lot of effort, dude. Can I make a barrel now? I can. I think this would be cool. I think that is nice. And then I will take this. And I will put the cornflower all right there. Why didn't I get any of my favorite flowers while we were in that area? Because um, this is really sad to me. Because I, I wish I had tulips. Oh. My bed so played out. I put all my valuables in it. My hat and flowers. And so I have so much Rama in. Holy moly. I can make all of it. There are so many. I can add it to the pieces. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. And. How many sheep did I kill? No, 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 no. I walked through a f I okay, I did kill a lot of sheep. But I walked through a forest where dogs had um, killed some sheep. And I just picked it up whenever I got it. My friend's face is on the internet. It's like the first pic you look up when you look up his name. So, like, in school we did that. We looked up some of my friend's names and, like, they... <laughs> their faces was, would pop up, like, first result or something. And that was so cool to me. But whenever you look up my name, you just see Spider-Man's girlfriend. And that was so annoying to me. Because you just, whatever you do, no matter how specific you got, no matter if you looked up the town I live in or the one I was born in or if you look up the school I go to, you just cannot find me on the internet. There are a few news art newspaper articles that I was in for, like, our local town. And, like, if I searched up my friends' names and I found that newspaper article through them, it would list me in it, but if you just try searching for me for it, um, you won't find it. And that was so annoying to me. Because I just, I just wanted to have my moment. I just, I just wanted to be like, look, I found myself on Google, but I have to look for my friend's name if I want to do that. And it's just sad. You think it's pretty cool to be named after someone like that? It w I wasn't even, like, named after her. Like... It wasn't intentional on either of my parents' parts. None of them had really watched or cared about Spider-Man. It was just an accident. I came home from school in, like, fifth or sixth grade. Like, why does everybody call me Spider-Man's girlfriend? And they're like, oh, I see what's happened. Oh, no. So, um, ah, flower. Um, so it wasn't intentional. 
cursed to be known as Spider-Man's girlfriend. Honestly, what was annoying in school is, you know, middle schoolers are mean. So, like, any time, like, in middle school, there were two people I had crushes on at different points in time. And, like, both of them happened to like Spider-Man and wearing Spider-Man sweatshirts. So, any time they did that, everyone, you know, because I wasn't super well-liked, they'd be like, Haha, Gwen, look over there. That's Spider-Man. You should go kiss him. Are you two dating? And then they'd avoid me. Or at least one of them did. But it was super awkward. It's just like, please leave me alone. You're not helping. I hate this. Um, so it was very stressful. And I didn't like it. I had a rough time, if I'm honest. But, yeah. I didn't like being known as Spider-Man's girlfriend. That was really stupid, in my opinion. In speech meets, I met two boys. One was named Peter and the other was named Parker and they were friends. And that was kind of funny. They joked about a threesome and then I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was in like eighth grade. Like, calm down, guys. I mean, they were probably in eighth grade too. So, um, it wasn't too shocking. But like still, like, whoa, we just met, you know? So... And that's fine. I can take a joke. It was pretty funny though. Look, windows. This isn't a good place for a window. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Can I put three right there? And then dad. No! Dang it. No! <sighs> this is the worst. I had just enough. I had just enough, guys. What did you say? Because I would have had no clue to say. I just kind of laughed. It's like, haha, funny joke. <laughs> You're so silly. You know? <laughs> you like the bush decor in the corner yeah it it, it was unintentional I got lazy and didn't want to build right there but I can like see the sky it's kind of like a skylight I have half a mind to like shear some uh, leaves and like make like a leaf skylight that sounds fun and I might do that now oh no the grass I feel like a nimrod so Anyways, so being named after Gwen Stacy was not fun for me. It was uh, very unfortunate, and I got teased and bullied for it a lot once I hit middle school, because that's when people started realizing Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy were dating or whatever. I don't know. And then, um, but in seventh grade, Spider-Gwen became a thing, and that kind of became, like, my shield. Like, my parents bought me, like, a Spider-Gwen sweater or zip-up hoodie in, like, seventh grade for Christmas. And that was kind of, like, a comfort to me because I wasn't, like, I could, I didn't have to think of myself as being teased for, like, I don't know, the damsel in distress. I was like, I'm the superhero, too. I'm not Spider-Man's girlfriend. I, I'm Spider-Gwen. I'm my own person, you know? I'm strong, independent, super lady who don't need no man. <laughs> But, um, I, I want, and, so I kind of used that for a while, and then, all of a sudden, freaking Into the Spider-Verse comes out when I was in, like, mm, it was my junior year, yeah, it was my junior year that, um, Into the Spider-Verse came out, so, like, <laughs> freaking four years later after I get this hoodie and um all of a sudden spider Gwen is cool and I was like I like spider Gwen before she was cool before everybody knew who she was before everybody thought she was just made up for into the spider verse which she wasn't 
so um and now people say like oh my god you're like spider gwen instead of oh my god you're spider-man's girlfriend so it's a little bit better so i demand a gwen stacy role play now okay this is the worst part this is the worst part for being um, named Gwen Stacy, is up until this year, I had never seen a Spider-Man movie. And that's the truth of it. And, it. and many people are disappointed in me, because like Alston's teasing me, I'll be like, I've never watched Spider-Man, or anything like that. I, I didn't know who Tobey Maguire was or anything. I just, I didn't like superhero movies, I prefer rom-coms and stuff. I don't like superhero movies. They they annoy me. I've I liked Into the Spider Verse, but it was animated. It had really cool music. Like you know, it had Spider Gwen, which I was you know kind of a fan of. But like Spidey Man. <laughs> so I yeah I don't I don't like superhero movies. I've since like this year at least been forced to watch a few, which is fine. I there's been a couple that I liked. I went and watched. What was it? Black Widow a few weeks ago? But like, I up until March 28th or 29th or something like that, I had never seen Spider-Man. And then the, like that week, I watched like all three of the th Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. So. Um, Marvel and DC movies are, I, I guess, I just, I think spider, not Spider-Man movies, I just think superhero movies are super kind of boring. Um, I prefer, like, the emotional, um, character development thing and not the fight scenes. And unfortunately for me, in a lot of superhero movies, there's a lot of fight scenes. And it's like, I think, though lately superhero movies have gotten better about like killing off main characters because like it used to be super obvious that like oh the main character isn't gonna die or at least you know that sort of thing but like um now like main characters or at least side characters who have their own movies or whatever they get killed all the time like like when they um that's not a spoiler anymore. When they killed Spider-Man in the one, what was it, Infinity War? What? I don't know. I remember what's his face saying, like, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark or whatever. And then he turned to dust. I've never seen Star Wars either. So, um, that's another thing. Well, I've, I've been present while Star Wars has been watched, but I've never had the attention capacity to watch it. No, they didn't kill Spider-Man, it was just a joke. Where the main character changed every episode because MC keeps on getting killed. <laughs> oh, Chelsea, that'd be really funny though. Like, Spider-Man is dead? What's with people not watching Star Wars? It's so boring and it's just not fun for me, dude. And I'm sorry. You don't deserve this. You deserve someone who enjoys Spider-Man. And I'm gonna get that spruce tree over there. Anyways. Oh, lava waterfall. Interesting. But, yeah. Star Wars and superhero movies are not my thing. Those are, like, the two not my thingiest most things. Any Star Wars movie I watched, they killed my favorite character! No! This is so sad. I'm sorry they did that to you. You didn't deserve that. Let's see. I watched Black Widow. And I know a lot of people who like actually like superhero movies. Like, kind of didn't like that. Like, they didn't like what they did with, what was it, Time Tagger? What's his name? Something like that. Um, they don't like what they did with that character. What the fuck? Did you? <laughs> They're so bouncy. <laughs> I thought I saw one of them go flying. Anyways, 
I know a lot of people didn't like what they did with that character, but I thought it was fun for a superhero movie. I like the familial stuff they did. Taskmaster! That's yeah, 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 yeah. Task, task masters. That's who he was. God. Sailor was so excited that Taskmaster was in that, and then he didn't like the character. He thought they should have made a separate character, even if they can do essentially the same thing. Should have just made um, her own character. So basically, if Star Wars and superhero movie crossed over, it would be the death of Borden Fruit. Basically. <laughs> they so bouncy. They are. Am I wrong? Okay. What was I gonna make with spruce wood? Dang it, what was I gonna make? I said, oh man, I wish I had spruce wood. Now I have spruce I didn't want spruce wood, I wanted Oh I wanted the sapling. Oh my god. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Are we doing all right? Everyone having fun? Anyways. Yeah. So, like, Black Widow was good. I, I liked all the family stuff. It was really funny how they all acted like family, even though they weren't. I thought they were real family in the beginning, but then they bamboozled me. I got the boys. Are you winning, Gwen? I'm trying my hardest. It's oh my god. It could be better. I oh my god. I think there's a hand over there. Ow. Wow. All these splotches look kind of weird. Splotch there. It looks like polka dots. You know? Big splotch right there and then there and then and then there. Oh cool. Oh my god, my ankles. Player hurts. I am a bouncy boy now. Bouncing baby boy. Can you even win at Minecraft? Yeah, there's, um, you can win at Minecraft. You just have to beat the end. You think your chair ran away today? How did it manage? Yeah. Rip knees, honestly. My ankles are dust. I think, uh, what they did with Taskmaster, I liked like the plot twists and stuff and finding out who Taskmaster was. Um, that was pretty cool, but like, I don't know. I, I agree that they should have made Taskmaster its own character. I very much am a type of person that likes to talk about key details, so I'm not going to talk about it. I won't, I won't spoil it for you or anything. So I think you should watch it for yourself, especially if you like that character. But, like, I don't care about spoilers. Taskmaster? Taskmaster, um, as far as I'm aware, is a, a superhero character who... Um, once they observe something, they can perfectly mimic it to the best of their, like, strength. Like, they, if they watched someone, say, lift, like, like, someone's technique for lifting a thousand pounds or something like that, even if they can only lift, like, a hundred pounds, that'd be kind of sad. Even if they could only lift, like, maybe, like, two hundred pounds or something like that, they would at least be able to perfectly replicate the technique. So they can copy anyone's fighting style or anyone's walk, the gait they have, um, that sort of thing. Uh, once they watch something, uh, they can perfectly replicate it. I've never beaten Minecraft. I've only been playing Minecraft for like a year or two. I've been obviously watching Minecraft videos like everyone else since I was like 11. But like I've I've never beaten Minecraft myself. So Well maybe I have. I can't remember. I think I've killed an Ender Dragon at one point. But um 
with a lot, a lot of help. You know? You want to see why, like, the whole reason I got, um, a spruce sapling? Boom. Isn't it so cute? Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> Let's see, I'm 19. Everyone else here, um, minors should probably protect your age. You only killed the ender dragon once. That's fair. This thing is kind of scary. I have so much cooked mutton, this is so cool. Spruce logs for all my spruce log needs. As far as you know, I am over the age of three. I think that's a fair assumption. I wrote in the description of the uh, live stream that it's intended for an audience of 15 and up, so no babies are allowed. If you're a baby, leave. Go watch Cocomelon or something. I heard your voice, you're like 72! <laughs> A dinosaur. Y'all are silly mode, honestly. Bro, it looks kind of cute in here. Wow. Maybe if I take some of these and some of these and maybe some of these, I can make horse dog and horse face. Then maybe I can make uh, an item for him. Okay, I can make an item. Hello? So where do I want to put a picture? Hmm. Right there. If I can add that. Where do you go? How do I make that? Oh, just some white wool? I probably have some. Yeah! Oh, I need... Okay, it's dark out though. Don't call me old. Just go back to your nursing home! Oh my god. Look, I see a little blind. Does he have a bingo match to get to? You don't have to murder him. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are brutal. That's how it felt to get bullied in middle school about being named Gwen Stacy. That's cute. And then Oh, that's a cute painting. I like that one. Yeah. We can do that. I like this too. I 
will find that painting eventually. That one's fine. So I was just kidding. Hmm. Hello? Turn my bones into sugar if I do it myself. Y'all get any pets? I have one cat and one dog. Personally. And the dog's name is Scarlet. She's very cute. The cat's name is Bo. His name was Bonita. Is what I named him. Because when we got him, my friend told me, who gave me him, told me it was a girl. And I named it Bonita because I thought that was a really cute name. Oh my god. And then uh, he grew a fat sack of nuts. And we're like, this is not a girl. So we just call him Bo now. <laughs> Unfortunately for Bo, we, uh, we took his nut sack away. And um, he is now kind of just afraid of everything. It's kind of silly. Yeah. It's kind of cute in here. Wow, it's coming together. You have a hedgehog? <gasps> I'm so jealous. One of my um, biology teachers, he had a hedgehog. <laughs> Mama Glenda Grandy. Yeah, I could totally, I could time you out. How would you like that, huh? Well, I've, I've built a little house. Do I finish it or do I keep wandering around? Should I make these floors not grass? I should probably invest in making a shovel. Oh, I'm gonna accidentally break that. Oh, I didn't. Interesting, interesting. We have a floor now, it's not grass. Isn't that nice? Getting murdered in the chat. Poor boy. It's okay. We do a little trolling around here. Ah, my ears are in pain from this, um, these headphones. Ooh, it sounds really pleasant. I like the new guys guys. Let's see. Bruh. I didn't sleep well last night. I feel so tired. I'm already exhausted. I was like, yeah, I can stream all day. It's my day off. I, I can do it. And I'm like, I need a nap so bad. <gasps> Ooh. That's nice. Have some sugar cane. And I wish I had a desert that I could take, um, a, what's it called, a cactus from, because I would totally put that in another terracotta pot and put that in my house, because that would look adorable. I also wish I had more iron, so I might go into the mines and get some, because that would make sense. Oh, I went back to my house to get food, but my mic is in front of all my uh, inventory items. Headphones with your glasses makes your head feel like it's gonna explode. Me too. Like, wearing headphones at all is like painful for after like a while, you know? But like, oh my god, with like glasses on, it, it's like impossible. Oy. <sighs> Bro, I feel like I need to stretch. 
Don't want to be rude. Make anyone sad. Rudy. I see. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Does it look? I get a lot of money. Sounds like it's a counterfeit. Is there anything else I need in the mines? Do you think? Um, I don't need this sword. I'm not as much of a swashbuckler as y'all might think I am. Oh, one more. Where am I gonna go mining? Is there a cave entrance somewhere? Do I need to make my own? want to find a little mine. I don't want it to be too scary. I just want to get some iron. Bruh. Sitting in this chair, it's a little metal folding chair with a pillow on it. Oh, my butt hurts so bad. Oh my god. I am so awful at controls. go too far away from my house. What am I to do? Boing. Oh my god. Motherfucker said zoom. Pro gaming chair. You bet it is. Did I close my door? Yes, I did. I'm very paranoid about that. I don't want. <gasps> is this a cape? No. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. I'll go, I'll go somewhere else. That's okay. Is it getting dark already? Gosh darn it! I just wanted to find some place where I could go mining. Is that so much to ask for? Can I just go back? Ow. Probably should go back. Just for the night, just for the night. Oh my god, where did all these leaves come from? Arr! Can I please run? Hello? I'm just getting stressed. I'm just, I'm a little stressed, guys. I thought I saw Slenderman in the woods right there. I'm seeing things because I don't have any mods installed. And I'm just, uh. I almost jumped out of my skin. <sighs> okay. Take two. We will find cave entrance somewhere. I refuse to make my own. It sounds like a lot of effort that I don't want to be a part of. You know? I see. No, it's, it's not. I can't. Mm. Eh. I'm stuck. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Ah, oh, pumpkins. That'll be fun. Yes. Oh, ooh, I love these little cyan flowers. They're really pretty, but you can only find them in like swamps and stuff, so they're hard to find. Mm. 
cool if we found like a witch's hut or something that's exploring right maybe there's one right there i can't see very well pretty flowers <laughs> mushrooms I think the funniest part of, oh, is that a cave entrance? It's probably not. Why? <gasps> it's beautiful. I hear, I hear skeletons though. I just wanted to make a couple quick torches. You can do it. You can, I'm gonna actually, real quick, I'm gonna turn my, um, hello? Where is it? Video settings. I wanna, brightness. Can I turn it all the way up? <gasps> that is so much better. I feel so much more confident when I can see. Oh my god. Okay, I'm raising your eyes. Oh my goodness. I thought I was playing with so much more brightness than I actually was. This is like a miracle now. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I died like twice now. Both, I think, were by creepers. No, one of them was by a skeleton. That's right. Um, uh, I got, uh... I got swarmed by two skeletons at one point, and at another point, um, I, uh, I had a creeper fall on my head while I was in a hole, and that wasn't very cool. So, um, but here we are. I have a house built, and oh, stalagmites. Ooh, and murky water, yummy. This is very underwhelming. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I didn't think I was gonna receive it. I thought it was just gonna break it like a piece of grass. Which I suppose it makes sense. It is not grass. Oh, there goes some dream. Okay, now I hear mean people. They sound scary. I don't know how to fight anymore. I just use that. Ah! Where is this coming from? No!
I did it. Look at me go. I want out of here. I no longer wish to be a part of this. I'm erasing myself and then there it is. The future historians wonder how the library acted in the Cold War. Oh no! Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. so powerful. <laughs> I just want to know. How do, how, how do I get back? Um, give me a moment. I know I do more damage. But guys, I know all these things. I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> You're all very sweet, despite the mansplaining. I'm just kidding. I just... Rocking chairs are very nice. I wish I had one. That would be very nice right now. It sounds very relaxing. If I think about it too hard, I'm going to fall asleep. Right where I'm sitting. And I know everybody likes a good old Sleeping Sounds video, but... Um, uh, I feel very... No! <gasps> I'd feel weird about doing it live. Gwen confirmed old person. I am an old granny. I go to bed at 8 o'clock. <laughs> like, I come home from work. I, um, I take a shower. I eat dinner. Um, and then I go to bed. Like, as soon as I can. I turn on, like, a YouTube video and I just pass out. And it is so nice. There are so many. Oh my. I don't know why I need these, but I have them now. I am confirmed a grandma. What is my job? I work at a car wash. Um, as a car washer and detailer. That is my job. It is, I work outside in the Texas heat for nine hours a day. And, um, and then I come home. Very, very sweaty. Very much covered in dirt and dust from people's cars. Because they don't clean them regularly. And it gets really gross sometimes. And, um, it is a fun time. It is a, is, I like my job though. I didn't think I would really like it. I thought it would be, like, you know, nice to work outside and get used to hydrating myself regularly. Because, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an indoor dweller. I stay inside for the most part, you know, most of the time. I, I like hanging out inside. You know, I like relaxing, you know. And, you know, because of that, I don't really drink a whole ton of water. I don't, I sleep a lot, so I don't feel the need to, like, eat a lot. But now with my job, I love my coworkers for one. I think they're all really fun to hang out with and they're very nice and stuff. And um, I've learned so much about drugs. So much more than I ever thought I needed to know or would ever find out. Um, and uh, I, I like the work that I do. I think it's very fulfilling and I don't know where my house is. So that's cool. I think I'm just gonna hang out in a hole for the night. Something like that. But yeah. Imagine being old, this post was made by Young Gang. Yeah, I don't know how you whippersnappers do it these days. <laughs> Oh, also, with my job, um, so since we detail cars, we drive a lot of the cars that we get, um, we drive them to the car wash tunnel and stuff like that, 
And like I the enum- the amount of cars that I've ever driven in my life went from like three to like in the span of a week to like thirty or forty. We get like we live in Texas, so obviously there are like a lot of white Ford F one fifties and 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 two fifties and like there are just simply so many but i've driven mustangs i've driven audis i've i've driven uh corvettes i've driven uh oh there's another one that starts with an m that i'm blanking on but i've driven so many i've driven cool cars now i've driven so much stuff and it's really wild and i I don't like driving like the really fancy ones because they're mercedes i've driven mercedes before yeah um I know the really cool stuff. Um, there's also another one that starts with a C that I can't remember. But, um, yeah. I've driven a lot of stuff. And that is pretty cool. <laughs> so, I've also driven, like, kind of, like, older 2000 cars that look like they're, like, five seconds away from breaking down. And we get them, and we're like, why are you here? Like, you look like you haven't cleaned this car in 10 years. Why are you cleaning it now? Like, wh- why bother? Because there are some cars that we get that were just, they will never, ever be clean ever again. And so they come to our car wash, and we try our best to wash them. And then they complain. They're like, oh, you didn't clean it that much. It's just like, no, we cleaned it our best. It's just never going to be clean ever again. <laughs> That's the long and short of it. So, it's really funny. <laughs> Well, my assistant manager, her boyfriend came in to get her car washed. And, uh, oh, hello. Hi there. Um, and, like, his car is falling apart. It's so funny. He has, like, a, a like a, a rag that's shoved underneath his headlight because it's falling out. And he saw, while we were drying off the car by hand... He saw me point it out to one of my other co-workers, and when he came around the to the vacuum tunnel to, like, vacuum his car out, he saw me, he's like, I saw you making fun of my car! <laughs> it was really funny. You have a hard time getting in the F-150. Honestly, I really do. <laughs> there are some cars we get that are just so tall. <sighs> it's It's very saddening. My first week of work, I got attacked by a car. It was in the car one. I, um, I got a, a a car, the, no, it was a truck, the last one we got for the day, and I opened the car door up, but I was a little too close to the wall, so instead of, like, closing the car door again to scoot by, I just decided to scoot past the already opened car door, and I scraped my knee really, really bad, and it bruised for, like, a week, and it was, it was, like, it was all sorts of colors of the rainbow. So, that was really funny. My body is not what I want it to be. I feel, I, like, I've, growing up, I had never been in any sports, ever. And I just never really enjoyed sports or being super active or anything. I've, have you driven a Tesla? I'm trying to think. I don't think I've driven a Tesla yet. We got a Tesla. Or maybe I have. No, that was something else. But we did get a Tesla uh, at one point. Um, Their car was nearly out of battery. They were like five miles away from like completely just breaking down. So they stopped um, and they charged themselves at an outlet in our vacuum tunnel since we weren't getting anyone. And they just kind of sat there for a couple hours. yeah but I've always been kind of a little bit chubby not like super or anything but like and it's always been like an insecurity of mine because just like the way I imagine myself in my head I don't want to be chubby and I've never been good at exercising or anything so it's just kind of something I gotta deal with but as like I gained so much weight (laughs) Uh, be like that I want to be small and high pitched too but and I kind of am small. I am pretty short. I am like 5'3"-ish. Something like that. I don't know. Trapped a pencil in one year. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. 
workout does make the difference. I was, right before getting my job, I was going to start working out. Like, I found a workout plan. I was setting up a diet plan that I was going to stick with. And then I got a job. And now I'm way too tired to work out now. But, um, working outside in Texas nine hours a day, it, I don't have to work out anymore. <laughs> So I can maintain consistent weight. I can kind of just eat whatever I want because I'm going to burn all those calories throughout the day. It's kind of wild. I'm not really losing weight. I'm just maintaining weight now. But at least I'm not gaining weight, which I'm happy with myself about. I like that. Um, I just drink a lot of water now. I have lunch. Sometimes I have breakfast and I have dinner. And they're all relatively small meals. I don't eat a lot. I don't have a lot of time for snacking. That's not true. I get home and I snack on, like, I eat, like, a bunch of peanut M&Ms or, like, a bunch of Twizzlers. I have Twizzlers here right now, but I won't eat them because I have a microphone. I don't want to eat loud or anything. I eat, like, yesterday I ate half a bag of, like, bite-sized Bueno bars. And I don't know if anybody else outside of Texas, like, has Bueno bars because did, we didn't have them when we were in Minnesota. But, like, Bueno tastes so good. Eat the Twizzlers. I'll do it. I love Twizzlers so much. Ha. Yum, yum, yum. Bro, <laughs> I'm so hungry. All that I've eaten today is like one of those drumstick ice cream cones. It was good. I ate that like five minutes before going live. I figured I was going to be here for a while. And I didn't want to eat a full meal, so I just an ice cream cone. <laughs> and that's okay. I had like a lot of peanut M&M's this morning. It's my comfort food. Twizzlers taste like tires. They taste like strawberry licorice. I don't know what to tell you. I wish I had a fast metabolism. That'd be so cool. I'm really glad you feel that way, Lorenz. But yeah. So. Oh! I don't. How many of you have watched my crush confession video? I'm just curious. I want to know because I know that is like my second best video. Like, I think views wise. Views and likes and comments wise. I think it's the second best. After the, um. The. Oh, the crush confession video? Yeah, um, well basically, I wrote part two. You saw it many times but didn't watch it. Okay, I see how it- no, it's okay. <laughs> but, um, I wrote a part two, and I practiced it, and I'm gonna record it either tonight or tomorrow i think i just need to subscribe to some editing software hello oh my god <laughs> oh my god it's not safe Sorry, I'm eating a Twizzler per someone's request. I try not to eat. Oh my god! No! Oh my god, I did it, guys! I am a beast! So. Sleeping with you, did you get video? That was so easy to make, I'm sorry. Like, I just sat and I like took a nap to record that. Hello? Yeah, I sat and uh, took a nap for that video. I put a pillow on the desk and I laid my head down and I set up my microphone and I just kind of looked at memes the entire time. If I'm honest, I'd really like to find my house again. Because I'm covering and crying. In your comforting crying your Instagram, 
I know what that you know what that comment says. I know what it says. I'm just not gonna say it because I can't pronounce for shit. Yes, I was actually crying. <laughs> I um I was having a little tiny breakdown because I was being dramatic about something. You know, insecurities. You know, they happen. I was crying and it was really dumb. And then I wasn't really sad about it anymore. But you know, I was still crying. I wasn't upset. But um, I was like, you know what? I can make content out of this. <laughs> so yeah. So, um, and then I was so nervous to post that video before, and I always say this, I'm sorry if you've heard me say this like 20,000 times, but I was so nervous to post it because for one, it wasn't scripted at all. I just kind of said whatever I thought would sound good, you know? You know, I was just ad-libbing it as you do. But um, I also thought, I hadn't really seen many reverse comforts ever, I don't think. Um, so, like, I was worried that, like, nobody would want to watch it. Or it would sound really gross with all the crying sounds and, like, all the throat noises. You know, because, like, I cleared my throat a bunch in that video. So I was just really worried that everybody would hate it and think it's gross and leave dislikes on it. And I... And I was like, I won't post this very much if you don't want. It's okay. You don't have to watch this video to my subscribers and stuff in the, in the uh, comments section. Not the comments, but the, um, the description. And then everybody liked it for some reason. And then I got like a thousand subscribers out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the heck? I got so many people from that video. And I was so confused. It was pretty cool, though. I wasn't complaining or anything just caught me off guard. I was like, oh, more people like this than I originally thought. And that was cool, though. I am happy I made it. <sighs> you just want more thunderstorm comfort videos? <gasps> oh, I would love thunderstorm comfort videos, personally, like, for myself. Because, like, I'm better about it now. I listen to Thunder to, like, fall asleep now. But I, for, like, a year or two, I want to say. Maybe just a year. I can't remember. No, it was, like, two years. I became, like, super afraid of thunderstorms for some reason. And I don't know why. Like, I've always, I've always been afraid of, like, tornadoes and stuff. But, like, thun and, like, whenever there was a really big, really violent thunderstorm, I would be, like, kind of cautious and like kind of worried that oh there might be a tornado and that's a thing I'm afraid of you know but like all of a sudden I was like super afraid of thunder and lightning and I don't know why and a lot of people you know because thunder and lightning isn't inherently scary it's it's like lightning yeah like it'd be scary if it hit your house but most of the time that doesn't happen but like so most people when you're like oh lightning you know they think you're joking you're like trying to get attention and i'm not it was embarrassing it was really just it was shameful because i'm like i used to love thunder and lightning why am i afraid of it now so i felt really sucky especially you know the people i was around when i you know if i was around people when a thunderstorm hit i would start like sometimes just crying and they're like what the fuck is wrong with you it's like i don't know it would be really scary to give me panic attacks and I don't know why and it just it was that way for a year and then I'm getting over it and they still startle me but like and they still make me really jumpy but I'm like way better about it now I'm proud of myself Tee -hee. my boyfriend used to laugh at me about it though that didn't feel good <laughs> and like looking back on it it is funny but at the time i'm like it's not funny you know it was pretty funny though and like it was super dumb but i'm glad i'm over it now because it's super embarrassing and i like in my head it's like i enjoy thunder and lightning it's cool but like for some reason like i just reacted that way and i don't know we touched 50 did people just get out of school all of a sudden that's really fun i'm just talking about me being afraid of thunder and lightning that's so embarrassing where did you all come from good grief okay well 
I'm trying to find my house right now, and I have half a mind to jump into a pool of lava to find it. Because my spawn point is there. Because at this point, I'm just wandering around. I started building, like, a little house by a little pond. It was really cute. I had picture frames up, and, like, I had flower pots. Around. This looks vaguely familiar. Maybe. Unless I just went in a circle. I think I went in a circle. Dang it! Okay. That's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm not upset. It's fine. Hello? Can I just have my house back? Oh, this is unfortunate. Mining is scary when it wakes you up in the middle of the night and it's loud and makes everything shake. Yeah, I agree. Oh, but I wasn't too bothered about that when I lived in Minnesota because when I lived in Minnesota, there was a train track, like, right in my backyard. And it would shake the house every single night. It passed by, like, twice a day. And it was very inconvenient and annoying to live next to, but I got over it eventually. I lived there for, like, 14 years. Not 14 years. I lived there for, like, 12 years. Still, same thing. So, I eventually got used to it. <laughs> I had no choice. So, dang it, where is my house? <laughs> Guys, I got so much iron. It's not a whole ton of iron, but like, um, I just, well, I guess I'll wait until I like run out of food, which I guess is now. I've run out of food. No, I haven't. Just kidding. Adventure awaits. Okay. You forced summer red. And I haven't done summer break. Why should I have? To... I hate. I hated summer reading. I had to do that um, for going into ninth grade, and then I didn't do any of it. And it didn't matter in the end. We were supposed to do a project or something with it, and then we just didn't do anything. And it didn't affect my life in any way, shape, or form. And I'm not saying it won't affect yours, but like, I wouldn't stress about it. You know. Squad, oh, squall cell storms in Utah, drop heavy rain, flooding flood apartment, damage, cars, knockout power. Not to mention thunder is constant. Yeah. That don't sound very fun. I don't like that. Your house is gone. Don't say that. I'll find it eventually. One way or another, and that might be through death. If I'm honest. I lived in a birch forest. Why am I... Hello? Didn't... No. Maybe I live this way. Zero regards for my ankles. Which grades y'all in? I am graduated. So, I am in no grades. I graduated in the 2020 pandemic. Let's go! That sucked. I didn't get a prom. I got a really sucky graduation. Like, bruh. I, feel, I felt really bad for the 2021 kids, though. Y'all didn't deserve that. Because I know most of you, like, it was on, like, online the entire time. And that sucks. I also feel really bad for people who were just going into college. Because most of them, like, paid for, in, like, in-person teaching. But got online schooling. And that is just not fair. And also, probably didn't get a lot of time to, like, adjust to your school. This is so sad. You know? Where's my house? Where did it go? Surely it's around here somewhere. Oh, it's gonna be nighttime. Oh. I gotta find it. I just gotta find it. No! Dang it. Okay. I just I'll run the entire night, which I should probably eat now if I'm gonna do that. Maybe this is it. Maybe maybe I'm really close to my house. And it's, it's it kind of looks like it. Okay, sprint. Oh, I suck. Oh my 
my god, I almost... Horses protect me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Right? Uh, maybe I should. No. Okay. Alrighty. Oh my god, there's an Enderman. We haven't seen one of those yet. That's because I avoid the nighttime at all points possible. I'm being. and upwards. Okay. This doesn't look familiar at all. Dang it! Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, cornflowers. I saw those at one point in time. Let's see. Oh no, you blended into the trees. This isn't fair. Oh my god. Gets vaguely familiar around here. Oh, wait. Is this it? Probably not. Okay, just kidding. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. This is not my house or anywhere near my house. This is just sad. Leave me alone! You want to fight me when I'm scared, because when I'm scared, I just... Okay. Oh, wait. Oh my god, guys, I found it! <laughs> and you guys thought I wouldn't find it. God. I'm so happy right now. God, I'm so tired in real life. There's so many creepers by my house. Nope. Nope. Haha, <laughs> that's really funny. Oh my god, oh my god. There are so many creepers, holy shit. Oh my god. Did you see how many there were? Oh my god. That's terrifying. Okay, well I'm home. I guess I'll smelt this. Oh. I know they don't burn, Colin. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> okay, okay. I am so exhausted. <laughs> I can't believe I made it home. I did not foresee this happening. What am I gonna... Gosh. <sighs> See? Isn't that pretty? They're not over there. I have reason to believe that means they're in front of me. Gosh. Oh my god. This is fine. What is 
is so stressful. Ugh, why did I agree to do this? What was your dream job before working at a car wash? Well, I don't have... So, like, when I graduated high school, if you're asking that, like, what I wanted to do, like, to study or um, graduate from or get a degree in whatever, I had no idea. Like, and I still don't. My uh, dreams and possible aspiration is just becoming a housewife. That just kind of sounds pretty cool to me. You know, it'd be nice to have, like, uh, me time and uh, be able to... You know, start about no, <laughs> and you know, help out and serve. You know, has been a uh, domestic life just sounds really neat to me, honestly. And that is the long and short of it. So I kind of want to be just a housewife. I want to like, you know, do YouTube like whenever I want or stream whenever I want or you know, be able to pursue whatever hobby I like. You know. But like, let's see, when I was little, I, in elementary school, I wanted to be um, a singer. I really love singing. This is why people hated me. I sing, I used to sing all the time. I sing, I still sing fairly often now, but I, it used to be like so bad when I was um, in my elementary school. And obviously a lot of people didn't like that. And they thought I was really annoying and I don't blame them. Oh, there's so many creepers outside. But when I was in middle school, I really wanted to be an actress. God, I was started being in plays in sixth grade, and I loved acting so much, and it was so fun, and I wanted to be an actress so bad, and I was like, and I thought I was hot shit, and I could do it, and like, I wasn't, I was a pretty good actress, you know? And then I got to the high school that I went to when I moved to Texas, and they are super competitive there because they have acting classes and they do so many plays and like they are so talented and they prepare people who like go on to perform on Broadway and go do international tours and stuff. They like they train people and their students go on to be professional actors and actresses and stuff. It's crazy. Like we had like alumni from the school come back and they're like, yes, I'm touring. I'm going to China to perform American in Paris and I'm the main character and I'm a swing, you know. It is so crazy. And like that the competitive nature of it just oh it wasn't for me I didn't I liked acting for fun I didn't like competing for it and it was so cutthroat and like it wasn't fun anymore so um that wasn't for me anymore <laughs> um now I had no idea what I wanted to do and obviously you know at least in the U.S. It's kind of just expected of you to, once you graduate, you go to college or trade school or you work and then go to college because there's not a whole ton that you can do anymore. Like, to make a living, to buy a house, to, like, serve, you know, and, like, prepare... Pre what? Provide. That's what it is. Provide for a family. Sorry, my brain just farted. I'm just... I'm so tired. Like, there's not a whole ton you can do nowadays without, you know, the application saying you need five years experience of whatever, you know. It's really hard. So, I'm just going to be a housewife. <laughs> I don't need a degree for that. Um, right now, my fiancé is at boot camp. Or rather, he is at reception and is going to boot camp uh, soon. Um... So he plans to be on the military. That'll be very easy for me to be a housewife. And I'm pretty excited to, like, be financially stable. But, it, you know, anyone in the military is kind of scary. Not, the people aren't scary. Being in the military is kind of scary. Anyone else having a random urge to be a father? Oh, my God. I want to be a mom so bad. Like, I see, like like videos of little kids or babies or anything or I see videos of YouTubers that I watch that like you know are having children and stuff and it's like I want to do that so bad I want one when can we have one we picked out like baby names and stuff like oh, I want us so bad won't be able to for like actually a few years now <laughs> so it'd be like that 
You know, I hope everything goes well. Military is tough and dangerous. I know. And my fiance wants to be a ranger, which is like the head honchos. They're like the front lines. They do the scary shit. And I'm like, um, that's kind of scary. I don't know how I feel about it. He said, um, while he's at boot camp, if I decide that it's, like, I really, really don't want him to be in it anymore. Because, like, Biden, uh, President Biden sent, uh, took, brought the troops home from Afghanistan. And then Afghanistan got, like, 70% taken over by Taliban. And now he's sending the troops back. And that's kind of scary. So, you know, we're in a state of war again for, like, about a month of peacetime. Um... So that was really scary, and he told me, you know, if he really doesn't want, if I really don't want him to be in the military, like, really, really cannot handle it, like, I'm, you know, really terrified, if I don't think, you know, it's gonna work that way, then he'll quit for me. And, like, I, that was so touching to me, because I thought he was gonna break up with me if, like, I couldn't handle it or whatever, because, you know, that's, that's what they all say, you know. I'd been, like, looking at a bunch of, like, military spouses and, like, girlfriend forums, and they said, like, oh, if you're not cut out for it, you might as well just break up with your soldier or whatever. And it's just like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so. Yeah, they're sending the troops back. Uh, Biden said um, something about the Afghanistan leaders can figure it out for themselves. And, like, we had been, we've been aiding Afghanistan for 20 years. We've been training them. We've been giving them uh the tools and the equipment to be successful and then um it just didn't work out once uh we left once biden pulled them out so yeah they're just sending them back to evacuate the embassy as far as i'm aware but who knows what we're going to do now yeah the united states backed off and um are leaving afghanistan yeah the afghanistan troops just as as far as I'm aware, from what I heard, just surrendered and ran away or retreated. And it's like, we've, you've been training for 20 years. It's just, so it's like, no wonder they got, like, they got their asses beat so bad. So, it's very sad right now. And you want kids right now and you're 16. Yeah, I feel that. I've wanted kids for years now, even though I'm 19 still, so, yeah. It's, it's very unfortunate. I, okay. I saw a news report of some lady. Oh, what, what news station was it? I'm trying to think. I can't remember very well. Oh, it was CNN. There was, <laughs> there was this lady who's doing a news report from, she's from the U.S. And she was in Afghanistan, like in the middle of like, like a riot in the streets kind of or like protests or whatever and she's saying to the camera they're saying death to america they're chanting it repeatedly but they just they seem so nice and it just cuts there and i'm like what do you mean i'm like what how does that seem nice like just because they're not immediately slaughtering you when they see you does not mean they're nice oh that was really funny. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I stopped playing for the game for a while just to, just to chat, but, but yeah. So <laughs> I'm all right. I've been obviously like I'm stressed about it, like because I mean who, who wouldn't be you know any any person in their right mind is going to obviously be you know concerned for somebody go going into the military you know in such a wild time. Have you guys seen the people clinging to the planes? No. What do you mean? Wearing masks while attack- Oh my god, there's a time and place for everything, you know? Oi. Imagine doing your casual report and you have nine millimeter to your chest. Oh my god. So, it's- Yeah. It's been a lot. Um, we talked about it on Sunday, and here, I'm gonna point this in a pretty direction, you know? So you can listen to pretty music. But, oh, what's that over there? That's a flower. Yeah. So, 
yeah, the world's kind of funny right now, you know? It'd be like that. It'll be okay, but, you know, obviously I'm worried that, like, I'm gonna be widowed at, like, 22 or something, you know? Or widowed at 20. I'm not even 20 yet. I'm 19, but, like, ugh. It's, it's pretty crazy. I'm sure, like, I know I kind of ripped on them saying, like, oh, they, we've been training them for 20 years, and, like, and they still retreated and stuff. We gave them so much equipment. And it's, like, I'm sure they're under a lot of stress, you know, and they f don't feel nearly as equipped as we decided they were. But. <laughs> Do you We can just look at the pretty scenery. This, this is fine. I don't have, I don't have Spotify downloaded right now, I don't think. I would play Chill Hop playlist. I have one in my last um, live stream, I think. But you just want to get out of the country to type in social security as a thing, can't take offers. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> Now 2021 is crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot. You can play an hour mix on YouTube and just minimize it. Yeah, but I don't want to get copyright strict. Strike. I forgot to monetize it. It's fine if it's not, but I was going to do that. That's okay. I, um, how's COVID over here? Well, <laughs> actually fun story. I didn't tell anyone this yet. Basically, um, so, let's see, I'm gonna give you a timeline. What was it? July 8th, no, 9th, July 9th, is when my fiancé, Sailor, got news that he was leaving in a month. And I'm like, wow, that's soon. Like, he went and talked to a recruiter that day, and they said, you are leaving in a month. And, like, it was very fast for all of us. We didn't have a lot of time to process it or anything. And so, a... Maybe, not even a week later. So, it was a Monday. I was sick on Tuesday and Wednesday. And Thursday, I came in to work, and I told my boss, hey, I need to be gone for three weeks. I need to spend time with my fiancé before he goes to boot camp. And I, originally, my manager was like, uh, I don't think that's going to work, you know. Uh, we're like, I don't think I can give you that much time off, you know. Uh, we'd have to, you can maybe have like a week at most, but like, I don't think I can give you three weeks. And then he said, oh, I was sick, I should just go home. And then I went home. And then that night, uh, Sailor came to my house. He spent the night. And then the next morning, we went over, um, I drove four hours to his house with him and we packed up his things at his roommate's house and we moved all of his stuff to his mom's house and we stayed there for three weeks I want to say and then I came back and I on the way back from uh to my house I get a text from one of my managers and he says hey when are you gonna come back or are you quitting and so I said no I'm coming back he's like oh that's okay I just wanted to ask because the car wash got shut down for COVID I'm like what and it was so funny because I was sick, like, right before leaving to go visit um, my fiancé. And then for, like, a couple days, I was like, oh, my God, what if I got them sick? I didn't because I just had a cold. It was just a really sucky cold. But they actually had COVID. It was wild. My manager gave it to everybody. And then, ugh. Bro, it was a lot. So, <laughs> my manager, when he came back after being sick, he was like, I'm glad I gave you the time off now, because at least you didn't get sick. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I really did dodge a bullet. They shut down for two weeks. Um, so, I got my three weeks. As far as corporate knows, I was gone for a week and quarantined for two weeks. So, it wasn't so bad. It's pretty good, you know? Um... So that's funny. There's, um, Texas, com you know, uh, loosened up its mask mandates and stuff. Um, and now, like, not super surprisingly, like, there's kind of been a, you know, a resurgence of a lot more COVID cases around Texas. And I'm not surprised, but from what I heard, like, it sucked. But, 
um, my coworkers thankfully didn't need to be hospitalized or anything. They just, you know, took medicine and vitamins and stuff like that. They're okay, though. This is the most amount of time you spent on your PC in a long time. I feel you, dude. I mean, I'm borrowing this PC, so it's not even my own. But, like, the most amount of time I had spent on it was maybe an hour playing The Sims. Because I got a new Sims expansion pack. Look at me go. <laughs> so, oh, my knee just cracked. Holy smokes. <sighs> Epic. <laughs> So yeah, I, I can play, I can keep playing Minecraft with you guys. I'm sorry, I took a break. We were chatting. I got caught up in that sort of thing. You think there are still creepers around my house? Probably. <sighs> I burped. I wasn't very ladylike. Okay. Where did I leave off? So I'm building this house. Do you think I should make like a second floor? I don't know what I would put up there, so I don't see why I should. Did I get vaccinated? I have not been vaccinated yet. No. High school sucks, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Your knees make me sound like <laughs> like the skeletons. I feel you, dude. Yeah. <gasps> There's an Enderman over here. I could fuck with him. died. I really thought I could take him, huh? <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, well. That's okay. I just get my stuff back. Oh, here he is. Let me get my stuff quick. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Boop, 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 boop. Gotta get everything. No. No, I want. And a, and a boop, boop. Dude, I can hear your knees popping. Ah, oh, shit. I know. I know how to, like, safely, like, fight an Enderman. I just didn't want to. I could have put blocks over my head so he couldn't touch me. But, like, where's the fun in that? It's kind of funny whenever I die. Because I usually deserve it. <laughs> oh, I want to I wanna fight the Enderman. I saw him around, but he pussied out. He was just so afraid of me. That's why he killed me. Nope. Where should I go now? I don't want to wander too far from home because I have a bad habit of getting lost and never ever finding my way back. In inventory, you can shift click armor and it goes in your armor slot. I'm gonna let Iggy go. Let's see. <laughs> you sound so weird. <laughs> this is some epic thing. Have you seen Kennedy? I am unaware of what you're referring to. I know, I have riveting content. I just... I like walking around. I like chatting. Ah, <gasps> hello? Something happened here. I like climbing. I like running around and jumping. But I'm not good at Minecraft. <laughs> Mushroom tree. I'm gonna get lost. I can feel it. Hmm. This is scary. How'd I make your day? What'd I do? Maybe it wasn't me. That's okay. That's okay. 
mass goat slaughter in Minecraft survival. I didn't realize they drop nothing. This is truly the worst. They remind me of sheep. No, sheep drop wool even. What's the point of goats? Ay, ay, ay. Unfortunate. Oh, my brother's awake. Cool for him. My hands are shaky. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I usually don't get very far in Minecraft. I usually play with someone. Hey! I wish... somebody to carry me because I'm very bad at Minecraft you know oh he's gonna need just enough for me good hmm retire with me daddy what Yeah, that is a fair question. I think there are a few accounts that say like cucumber approved or like Willy Wonka approved and they always comment whenever I upload or anything. And they I see them do that on like other accounts too. Like other YouTube channels too. What did you just watch Black Dot? I don't know, you tell me. I haven't been doing anything. I've just been kind of running around. I like being in my house. It feels nice. But I know this is boring, so I have to go out and do something. This is my duty, but I don't want to want to hang out in my house. I don't, you know what kind of sucks? How easy, what is this, clay is to find. Because clay used to be so hard to find, now it's just everywhere. Retire with me, daddy! That's what you came back to, okay. I was just quoting one of the comments I read. And this is the truth. So. Don't look too deep into it. It's, 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 it's fine. I said it's fine, and I mean it. That's okay, Colin. Yeah, I, w I wanted to stream for a while because I knew some people wouldn't be able to make it during the noon. Some people would only be able to make it. How long do I plan on streaming for? Well, to be honest, I planned on streaming for like another three hours or something like that, but I'm feeling pretty tired. <laughs> I am very tired, I am sore, and I am hungry. So I could take a break, but um, that would be showing weakness, you know? Can't do that. I also don't know what to play. <gasps> we could play The Sims. I don't know what we could play in The Sims, but we could do like a 100 baby challenge in The Sims. That'd be so funny. <laughs> what the fuck? Three hours? Yeah, why not? You should have seen my last live stream. It was like five hours long. To be fair, I've been going since noon and it's always been already been like three and a half hours. What is it now? I don't know. But... I've been going for a hot minute. You should try high pixels and put Jesus Christ, Gwenny. What? Fine. Those are rookie numbers. I know, but I don't stream very often, so it's quite a bit to me. Let's see. We could switch to playing The Sims, which might not be fun for some people, so I understand if you don't want to. Wait, we're in different time zones. Okay. Playing video games from my name to 3 a.m. back in the ninth grade. Well, that's just not healthy. <laughs> You're trying to brag about no social life and playing video games all day. And sure, I I just had play practice and then I watched YouTube. I wouldn't play games because I didn't have anything to play games on. <laughs> I had a Nintendo DS. Every road leads me back. 
It's 4.47 p.m. It is 3.48 for me. No social life is cool. Nuh-uh, you don't have anybody around you to think you're cool. <laughs> you're such an introvert. You're gonna roast me like that? Oh, you set yourself up. Why do they bounce so much? Hello? Do they hurt you when you attack them? I feel like they do. Well, I want to try it out. Oh, he died too quickly for me to find out. Oh, I just feel bad. Let's see. Let's see. Here, I'll give you a chance to fight back. Oh, no, they don't. Come back here, Jesus Christ. Anyways. You should have major social anxiety. I know, I'm just I'm just teasing. I, I hope I hope you know that I'm teasing and it's okay to not be sociable. Because I uh, I also was not very sociable for a while, especially after moving. That was not my forte. It's okay to not be sociable. As long as you're taking care of yourself. 11.50 p.m. you're clean. Sir, you should go sleep soon. <laughs> she got nene. You probably get school tomorrow. I'm really glad I streamed early enough for you to be able to catch it, though. That would have been, uh, because I know some people, uh, such as yourself, are in later time zones. And if I streamed when, like, I wanted to in the evening, uh, when, like, maybe Americans can watch. Uh, a lot of people who live in other time zones like me couldn't watch it. So I'm really glad you were able to make it. And I'm just gonna be here just in case other people like wanted to come hang out. But now I don't know what to do because I've built a house. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in Minecraft survival without cheats or anything. Cause I, I didn't I didn't get any cheats. I don't know what else to do. Oh, it's not again. I just like, no, stop, 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 stop. Sorry. <sighs> I am super clumsy. I also misspeak a lot, which you guys, hello? Which you guys can probably tell. him uh -huh. it would have been more fun if i didn't stand under a tree but eh. next thing you got to do is make another portal i kind of forgot that was a thing i have four pieces of obsidian so let's see i have oh i have to find a diamond pickaxe to mine Obsidian. Guys, that's a lot of effort. A two by three frame. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I need like what, ten pieces? That's right. Yeah. That's an, I only have four. But let's see. Mm -hmm. I know how to make an ender port. Not an ender portal. <laughs> my nether portal. just be game with buckets oh but you see i am not game with buckets so um this is why i will not be uh hello see i have one one block right here um i have to go finding it for bro you just need to raid village blacksmiths honestly that would be simple huh I know somewhere back where I started in that um, shipwreck, there was a uh, 
broken nether portal, which is where I got those obsidian pieces from. That's really far away. But if you want me to go to the nether, then I'll, I'll put my big girl pants on. I think I'll leave the stream and open my phone before sleeping. It's like an ASMR. Um, if you think me screaming at almost dying is ASMR, I think you're more mentally sound than most of us. Or maybe that's not mentally sound. I don't know. I think it's really funny though. I, oh God. What do I have to do to go mining? Let's see. Quick dirt video of the bad bear. Oh, hot bar. I am sorry for yawning. That was impolite of me. I simply read. I apologize. You didn't deserve that. Let's see. I'll probably need more torches. Is that the... I need iron. That one. Let's see. Sorry, sometimes I stop to read the chat, but I don't say anything, and then I realize I haven't said anything, and I'm like, oh no! I woke up, you woke up at 6 a.m., and it's now 2.30 p.m. Honestly, take a nap, bro. You deserve it, dude. Should I just start digging somewhere? I'm not here. Alas. Dang it. Didn't want that. Okay, I should probably use my spade. Yes, I will go down and keep mining until I get diamonds. Mining, mining, I'm mining a diamond, 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 if I could find them. Mining, mining, I'm mining a diamond. Hope the diamond doesn't mind, then I'm mining. Uh, shout out to, uh, a uh, pretty small YouTuber. Uh, his name is, I don't know if you've heard of him. Uh, his name is uh, Tabascius. He you know, also goes by uh, Toby Games. Uh, you may have heard of him. <laughs> it's hard. Am I being annoying yet? Or do I need to try harder? Bruh, play some torches. It's dark. I think you just need to start seeing better. There's nothing to see, I promise. Like, it's, it's, it's just... Damn it! Okay. Where do I find girls who want to be housewives at? Church. Y'all want to find girls that have good values and want to be housewives? Church is probably the place to find that. I know I go to church. <laughs> Let's see. I gotta make uh, a new pickaxe because mine broke to five. Yeah, make two. <sighs> Forget housewives. I want to be a house husband. Honestly, you be you, boo. I think that would be really fun. I would love it if, like, I could work for my house husband and he could do what he wanted. But I want to be a housewife. So it's going to be me. 
like, if I made enough of an income to support the both of us, hell yeah, my husband could be a house husband. Forget house spouses, I want a hug. That's mood. I simply miss hugs. Simply miss experience, yeah. Oh, the way of the house husband. Yes. There is nothing down here. It goes down forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. you're not missing anything it is simply stone I'm not getting anywhere <laughs> oh I heard lava maybe I did it! In a world where I find emerald before diamonds. What are you lacking? Oh, that was providing light source. I maybe won't break the rest of those. There's nothing in here. Cool. Lock that off. This didn't go very far. <laughs> Where the daddy's over here, though? <sighs> How do you find the person that you like you want? Like, I... Are you happy? Like, I know you guys want me to do all fancy things, but I like just vibing. I don't like checking these things because I'm stupid and can't read them. Or they hurt my head. I have smooth brain. So I don't, I, my, my brain is smooth. So it hurts when things aren't right out in front of me. Where the zombie drones at? <laughs> Disregard the vibes. I found your little hideout. You'll be okay. Lead me to the treasure. 
This is exactly where I came from. Wow. What? So I am at 12. Y'all want me to mine at 11. Like, are we gonna strip mine? Is this what we're gonna do? Hope you guys like strip mining, cause I do. I love strip mining. I can strip mine forever and ever 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 and ever. Let's see. She broke her. I've been playing Minecraft for four hours now. Just take the clip. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, this was this. Bro, that scared me. I haven't seen this before yet. Because th this is my first time playing the new update. I haven't seen this yet. Play some royalty free lo fi hip hop. I really should. But I, it's hard to find that, um, because it'll, like, if you, if you Google, like, royalty-free lo-fi hip-hop on YouTube, and I'll find, it'll show you, like, compilations, or, like, long-form, like, 40-minute videos of, like, song compilations that they say are royalty-free, but they're not, and they'll actually copyright strike you. You know why? Because it's happened to me before, and I know other people it's happened to, and it's just unfortunate. Um, there was someone on Spotify who had royalty free stuff that I put in the last live stream I was in. I'd have to find it though. I'm also not on Spotify anymore. Have a good night, Slime Tornado. We'll see you next time. Let's see. So, you just applied for work at Walmart. Let's go! Let's see. I think it would be not so bad working at Walmart. Honestly, I, um, I'm probably going to quit my job around Christmas time because we don't get holidays off. I worked on, like, 4th of July, and we got bought out by a new company, and that company might give us, like, Christmas or something off, but, um, I, as far as I'm aware, we, we're still not getting holidays off. And I don't know about you... But if my fiancé is coming back from boot camp because he has Christmas off, I'd like to spend Christmas with him at the very least. So I will probably put in my two weeks a little bit before Christmas. And I will, uh, once he goes back to boot camp, I'll find a job somewhere else to work for a couple months. Mm-hmm. It is crappy. I hate it. Sorry, I was just taking a drink while I was talking because my throat kind of hurts now. <laughs> so... bell because you hit different is that a compliment <laughs> uh so as much as i love them like I, I i i like them so much i think it's so fun to work there i i really enjoy working there but like if i don't get holidays off i don't know as if i can take more time off because i've already kind of dicked them over by taking a week off and technically just a week off it was it's supposed to be three weeks, but it was technically just a week. Oh my god. Scary sounds. Scary noises. So, um, yes, I do have a fiancé. He is going to boot camp. He's going to be in the military. He's going to be in the army. He tried being in the Air Force, but none of the recruiters would take back his calls. Um, even though he got an 88 on the ASVAB. Which I don't know if well, you know anything about the ASVAB, but uh, 88 is really, really, really good. And he is going into the army anyways. So he's taking it as like a challenge for himself. And I'm like, that's a heck of a decision to make to challenge yourself with. At first, I didn't want him to join. I spent like he told me, like, solidly, this is what he wanted to do, like, a few months ago. And, like, that scared me. I had never pictured myself being a military wife or anything. That wasn't the future I 
had for me. And I spent, like, an hour trying to come up with a different plan. Like, trying to convince him that, like, you know, I get that you're trying to do this to, like, give us a stable future and whatever, you know. But, like, I would prefer you didn't. And then he said it was something he really wanted to do. I'm like, okay. That's fine. So, I took a 180 and I just decided I was going to support him. Even if I was scared. Or even if I didn't want to, like, miss him. Even if he was going to be deployed for months on end. And Hello? And that was going to stare at me. Even with all that, you know, if it's what he wants to do, who am I to stop him? But, he's currently at receptions right now, and he says if I really don't want him to be in the military anymore, he'll come home, which I really appreciate. But, hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully we will be able to manage. It will be okay no matter what, you know? You can't see. I know. It's hard to see, but there's not really much to see right now. I am really proud of him. I'm super duper proud of him, and I'm I'm proud of what he's doing. He's going to be a ranger, and that's really impressive of him. And I'm super excited for him. I know he's really excited, and I'm really happy for him that even that he just wants to do it. Because it's not something that I've ever wanted to do. Like, I've never wanted to be in the military. And I think it's really impressive of anyone who wants to be in the military. Because it's hard and it's scary sometimes, you know. There's a lot of uncertainty. It's really not as organized as you imagine it to be. Or at least I imagined it to be. And I am very super duper proud of him. Wanting to do that. Also. <laughs> no, I won't stop. Okay. Also, <laughs> he left me his PC so I can stream and stuff from it while he's at boot camp. <laughs> you have him to thank for this live stream. This live stream is brought to you by my fiance, Sailor, um, who left me his PC set up uh, to stream with. Thank you so much. Does that mean I can play Apex? I don't see why I would want to play Apex. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apex can suck my nards. His name is Sailor, like S-A-Y-L-O-R. That's his um, online name. Like my online name is Penguin. His is Sailor, except my name is actually Gwen. His name isn't actually Sailor, but that is just how I refer to him on the internet has a different name it's funny uh his friends when he live streamed with his friends they didn't call him sailor <laughs> it's like he doesn't care very much but like i do it just for consistency's sake because like if i say his name because it is it is similar to sailor but if i say his name you might be like who's that and then i'd have to clarify and that's kind of dumb so <laughs> i'd rather not so i'll just i just call him sailor You're gonna take a nap? Honestly, I'm so jealous. I wanna take a nap right now, but uh, I'm in the middle of something. I don't know. What games do you wanna play? I wanna play Stardew Valley. Um, I like chill farming games. I don't like action adventure shooting people games. It is not fun for me. I like, I'm gonna start a farm. I'm gonna plant some crops. I'm gonna weed them every day. I'm gonna water them. Like, I just got a Sims expansion pack that is about farming, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> I got cows and chickens and a llama. Anyways. Can you play that on stream? Oh, uh, Stardew Valley? I can try. I've never gotten very far. I think it would be fun, though. We could speedrun romancing. Stardew stream. If you really want, <laughs> I'll start playing Stardew Valley right now. Actually, I don't know if I have Stardew right now on this computer. I'd have to download it. You can sit and chat while it's downloading, though. I have it on my laptop, and mm, I have it on my Wii. I have 
put on my laptop and my uh, Switch. I had, to, I had to think about it really hard, though. I have an Elgato, so I could stream from my Switch at any time, but I don't know how to set it up. Again, because it's sailors. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would have to look how, how to do that. And what exactly how to do. And I'd also need another monitor, which maybe I could use my laptop for that, but it sounds like a lot of effort. So, oh, hello. Let there be light. Oh, my pickaxe broke. There goes my hunger. Ah! Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Have I found diamonds yet? No, I have not. It is, I've been strip mining for quite a while now, just in one line. But, um, I haven't found diamonds yet. Ah, scary sound. What's the meanest thing anyone's ever said to you? Well, the one that comes to mind, people have said pretty mean things to me. Um, like, my future mother-in-law has um, said I would leave my fiancé because I'm a whore. Um, so that wasn't cool. But she's a cunt and she projects because she's a whore who leaves people and she dates whores that leave her. So, um, it wasn't personal. She has just issues and isn't a good person. So, <laughs> let's see. Um, but in, like, the meanest thing somebody said to me that, like, made me cry or whatever was um so i like i've mentioned this before today but like growing up like i was really annoying and i sang all the time and people didn't like me for that and that, that is fair and i don't blame them at all for it but um like once i hit middle school i started like i understood like people thought i was annoying i can't sing as much and like but i still love singing and stuff so like I wouldn't sing very often, but, like, if I was stressed or, like, I wanted to, like, think about something else at the moment, I would, like, hum to myself sometimes. Like, that was, like, a good middle ground that I gave myself, you know? And, um, one day, I was having a pretty rough day. I hadn't studied for, like, a, a, a social studies test or something like that. There's a hair next to my phone over my mouth. And I was humming to myself to try and calm me down. I had already had a pretty bad day at that point, though. And while I was humming, there was a guy in my class who, um, he was, like, one of the popular boys, you know? And he had never, ever spoken to me ever before. Hello? Okay. And he said, oh, I don't have a pickaxe. This is inconvenient. And I was humming, and I was humming quietly, too. And he's like, who's humming? And that's my cue to shut up, you know? And then somebody said, it's Gwen. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And he looks at me and he says, like, stop. It's literally torture to my ears. And I'm like, got it. And I cried. <laughs> and then uh, I had a stressful time taking my test. And then uh, it's really funny now that I do ASMR. Apparently people like my voice now. <laughs> Boy, would he hate it, though. And then... Um, the rest of that day was just a mess. <laughs> it was it was rough. I um I got hit in the face really hard by one of the athletic boys by a dodgeball and it knocked me to the floor and it made my glasses fall off my face and like skitter across the floor and everybody was staring at me and stuff and then I started crying and I'm like, um, I need to go to the nurse's office and get like no, I need I need to go get an ice pack, I'll be back. And then I left and I cried in the shower rooms and I didn't come back and like at the end of class, somebody was like, hey, where's Gwen? And I was like, <laughs> So, I, oh, here's my exit, thank God. What's my favorite anime? Um, if we're going by a show, I would say it's between Oran High School Host Club and Your Lion April. Those were really good shows. I love them both so much. <laughs> um, and, but if we're going by movie, I think one of my favorites 
because I have a couple. <laughs> I really like a few Studio Ghibli movies that I've seen. Um, like Howl's Moving Castle is a really good one. That's really nostalgic for me. Uh, my mom and I used to watch it a lot when we were when I was little. I really like um, Spirited Away. That one's a really good story. I like The Secret World of Arietti, which not a lot of people know about, but it's really good, and it's based on the kids' book, The Borrowers. <sighs> it's really good. And let's see. I also really like Weathering With You. That was so good. Also, Your Name was good. Um, a Silent Voice was really good. Those are a few of my like favorite, like, movies, anime movies, well, I guess that's what it is, Yu-Gi-Oh, no, Yu-Gi-Oh is an anime, you don't have to say, I guess it's an anime, Yu-Gi-Oh is an anime, just because it was a popular one that, like, American kids watched, uh, doesn't mean it's not anime, like, Pokemon's an anime, like, just because, um, like, it was really popular and it still is really popular doesn't mean it's not an anime, and, like, same with, like, Dragon Ball Z or something like that. I haven't watched them, but they're anime. <laughs> oh, something that was really cool. They got um, a Netflix... I don't know if it was a Netflix adaptation. No, it got a live action remake of it. Have I ever seen Toradora? You're going to hate me for this. I don't really like Toradora. It's... Um, I don't like the Cinderay girl type. I like Cinderay boys a little bit, but I hate Cinderay girls. Especially, like, violet ones like, um, Taiga. God, which is so funny, because <laughs> I use Taiga in my thumbnail for my crying video. And, like, I've seen the ending. It's super cute. But I just, I don't really like the violent Cinderay girl type. So, I didn't really enjoy watching it. It had a lot of stereotypes and a lot of fan service. Like, um, main character's mom. I don't really like it. Um, so, Yeah. I stopped watching Toradora. I'll continue. And it's really sad because my fiancé really likes Toradora. That's his, like, favorite one. Um, and he's really sad that I don't like it. I mean, I'll keep watching it if he wants me to eventually, but I really didn't want to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I like the idea of Cinderace. I like the idea of someone who, like, has a crush, maybe doesn't realize it, and is just, like, you know, teases someone or picks on someone. Yeah, I think... I think that's kind of cute, but I don't like girls that are like, B Baka, you're such an idiot, and punches them and hits them and, like, verbally and physically abuses them. It's just, like, it is. I'm with your fiancé, Toradora is the king of romance anime. That's really funny. Um, for those of you who don't know, my fiancé also does ASMR. He's the one who got me to make ASMR. It was really funny. So, I... <laughs> Can I tell you the story of how we met? It has to do with ASMR. It's okay if you don't want to hear. Because I know people don't like when other people gush about relationships or stuff. Well, you did a wonderful house when I was out. Thank you! It looks so good. I like just hanging out in here. But I'm afraid it's boring for other people. It's got such a nice view. It's on a little lake. It's really cute. It's just, it's pretty simple. It's, it's it's really basic. But, like, the inside is really cute. I got flowers and, like, pictures and stuff. You know? I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. You know? So you want to hear? Okay, I'm going to put it in a really pretty... That's pretty. Okay. We're just, we're going to stare at this for a little bit. So basically... <laughs> You stream is nice background audio listening to doing something. I'm glad you think so. So basically, um, how we met was I had recently been, I, okay, this is senior year. Did you just build it or are you found a house? No, I built it maybe like an hour or two ago. This isn't my first house. This is probably the third house I've lived in now. <laughs> this is like my home base now. This is where I decided I wanted to be. But yeah, so... Senior year, New Year's Day, I got dumped by someone who really wasn't good. <laughs> he, was a really, he was a really shitty guy, and I had a hard time seeing that for a while. But it was maybe a month later. Um, I was watching ASMR role plays and stuff. I really like Crush Confessions. So 
I like, um, I really like watching Crush Confessions, so one day I just typed into YouTube one day, uh, male for female, Crush Confession ASMR, or something like that. And I just saved a bunch to a playlist. And at that point, I was also, like, joining a bunch of, like, Discord servers. Um, so I had been doing that for a while, for, like, ASMR people, and I like smaller content creators, so I liked like hanging out in smaller servers for ASMR creators. It was fun for me. So I was starting to do that more often. And there was one of the videos that I listened to was from someone named Weabro. And that was a really cool name in my opinion. And then I, um, and then, you know, usually when I watch somebody's video and I like them, I go to their description and I look if they had like a Discord server or something. So I found his Discord and I searched it up and I was like, oh wait, this is his Discord na like tag, not his like server because he didn't have a server. And I still added him because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and then he added me back like maybe like, I don't know, half an hour later or something like that. And I was too awkward to say anything. So I waited until 11.11 at night and then I was like, haha. 11-11 in my time zone, make a wish or something like that. And it was really awkward and cringy and I hate it and I don't like talking about it, but it's really funny. And <laughs> and then he said that back to me and then we kind of talked for a little bit. I talked about like I was doing like vocab homework and it, folding laundry and stuff like that. And, you know, just kind of chatting and stuff. And then the next day, and it, but he was fun to talk to and stuff and I liked teasing him and stuff like that. Yeah, I was. I still kind of am. I do it mostly now for the meme. Um, like, when I see it's 11-11, it's kind of exciting. Like, there's a Snapchat filter that I always like that has, like, um, dandelions, like, blowing in the wind and stuff, you know, that you blow on to make a wish. And it's really, it's really fun to try and catch. It's almost like a challenge now. And I, it's very fun for me. But, um... And I, I'm, I'm aware they don't, like, actually make wishes. I'm not, like, one of those people that believe in, like, making wishes on, like, stars or at 11.11 or, um, oh, two minutes ago it was 11.11 for you? Incredible, honestly. But, so we chatted for a little bit and we bonded over the fact that we both have character names. Like, I'm named Gwen Stacy, he's named after, I won't say his name. What do you mean, like, teasing him? I, <laughs> I like teasing him. I found out he was a year older than me, and I called him Dinosaur. And I joked that he was my prehistoric compadre. I, I said that, like, he's just like, you're just a year old, younger than me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm old. He's just like, well, if I'm a year older than you, what does that make me? And I'm like, you're ancient. You're absolutely prehistoric. So I, I called him dinosaur and stuff like that for a little bit. It was really funny. <laughs> and um, and we bonded over the fact that we had character names. I'm named Gwen Stacy. He's named after a storybook character. Um, I won't say his name or anything in case he doesn't want me to because I imagine he doesn't. But he told me that he I was the only person he ever told that and I felt special. So. <laughs> um, and so we talked for a while. I had a crush on somebody else who did an ASMR, and even though he had a crush on me, he told me that I should ask that person out, and I kind of dated them a little bit for, like, maybe less than, a, less than a month or something like that, and then it wasn't working out or anything, you know, he lived in Australia, so we just broke up, you know? <laughs> it just, it didn't work out, and it was fine, we're, we're still friends or whatever, but he was really sad because he had a crush on me, and he thought I liked this guy way more, I, did, I liked him too. But, um, he told me to ask this guy out. So, um, now it's a joke that I like guys who do ASMR. And it's not something I can never live down. I told my parents that I met him from, like, a friend of a friend of a friend. Because he lives four hours away from me. I know! I thought he didn't like me. Because he was hung up on his ex at that time. Which is fine. You know, it'd be like that. But he told me to ask this guy out. It was dumb. It was very, very chivalrous of him. But he told me to ask this guy out. So I took that as, oh, he must not really like me. You know? So I just, yeah, I did. And... We've talked about it since. He's over it now, but, you know, he teases me about it. Um, and then after we broke up, we talked for a while. It wasn't a very serious relationship. And then at one point, it slipped me, and he told me he loved me. And I'm like, oh, my God, same. 
<laughs> and so we started dating. We lived in the same state, but we live in Texas, and Texas is pretty big, so he still lived, like, four hours away from me, three and a half hours away from me. So, you know, it, he almost stopped talking to me because, like, he had a crush on me, he didn't think I was interested in him, and he was like, you know, it's just gonna suck for me to, like, you know, keep talking to someone that I like. So he was gonna stop talking to me. He was, like, so close from that, and I was just like, <laughs> I can't believe you almost just flat out ignored me, but, um, didn't work out that way. And then we started dating, like, I met him twice before quarantine started. I, we, uh, it was my senior skip day and, like, the last day of his spring break. So it was both a day that we had off and that, like, you know, we didn't have anything going on and I wanted to go out and do something for senior skip day. So he offered to take me and we could go out and do something fun. And I'm like, that would be so cool because I had never met an internet friend up until that point. And so I planned a day for us. We were going to go to the zoo. We were going to go ice skating. We were going to go get ramen. It was so fun. It was such a good day. Um, it was it was very datey, even though I was with someone, which is kind of not good. <laughs> but um, it worked out in the end. So we, we he showed up and like, oh, this is so embarrassing. I was living in an apartment at the time. And I told him to wait outside like of the gate and I would walk like, from my apartment to the gates, and I'd meet him there. Kids, don't get into a car with a stranger. That's not a good thing to do. Just because I did it and it worked out for me doesn't mean it'll work out for you. But I got into a car with a stranger that I had been talking to for, like, two months, who was my best friend at that point. And, um, and I got in the car, and I'm like, oh, my God, he's real. And he's like, oh, my God, she's hot. <laughs> so awkward like the first couple minutes because like we don't know what we're supposed to do and I'm like I forgot my wallet I have to go back to my apartment and I had him drive me right to the front of my apartment and I'm like this is such a horrible idea <laughs> and I left my phone and my bag in his car he could have driven off with it while I ran upstairs to get my wallet like it was it was I was really dumb about it I had pepper spray and stuff on me like on the complete off chance that like this was a mistake, you know? So I was, I thought I was playing it safe, but I was not playing it safe nearly enough, you know? Oh, it was so funny. And then, but it, it, it obviously it ended up fine. So we, <laughs> we went to the zoo, which was like a five minute drive from my house, which was pretty cool. And then, so, I, we went to the zoo. It was really fun. We had lunch there. I packed his lunches in a lunchbox, so I made him a sandwich, and I picked him, like, Pringles and fruit snacks and a juice pouch, <laughs> and so, and he was really touched by that. He's like, a girl made me a lunch, you know, and then, um, we watched a musical next to each other while we were eating lunch. It was really fun. It was a really good musical on my phone, and then, we, he drove me to the ice skating rink, and we went and we ice skated, and that was so fun. And he held my hand, and I was like, ah! you know? And then, um, for a while we were just holding pinkies, because I was just like, I can't hold hands with a boy, you know? And then we did it anyways, because it was a lot more convenient, and I was gonna fall, you know? And then, um, we went and we got ramen, and that was my first time having ramen. Like, aside from, like, marushan or, like, top ramen, and, like, you know, that you make in a microwave, that was my first time get going to, like, a ramen shop. And that was really cool, and it tasted so good, and it was really fun. And then he dropped me off at home, and we said goodbye, and it was really sad. And then I went and saw him a week later, um, when, uh, we didn't have school all that week. I know, it was scandalous, we don't talk about it, Shh. And so, we, um, <laughs> he's so nice, he was back at his um, mom's house at that point, and he, let's see, he offered to come pick me up so I could have a sleepover at his house, and I, like, I had sleepovers at my guy's friend's houses all the time, so I'm like, this is nothing different, he's just still kind of a stranger. So basically, your first day actually turned out to be the 7th or 8th. Actually, the first, let's see, our first day 
kind of ended up as our second date, I want to say. Something like that. And so he picked me up, and we drove... He drove four, three and a half hours to my house, picked me up, drove us back three and a half hours to his house. We, like, watched movies and musicals all night. We slept on the same bed. It was very uwu. And, um... We hung out for the day, we watched more musicals, and then he drove me three and a half hours back to my house, and then drove himself three and a half hours back to his house. And he started crying, because he's just like, I like this girl, but she doesn't like me, you know? Even though I did, like, I was into him, you know? And then, um, like a week-ish later, I want to say, he told me that he loved me, and I was like, I love you too, and then we started dating. And that is the story. So, uh, that's all there is to it. And then, since it was quarantine, <laughs> we, um, we didn't see each other for like three weeks. And it was such a long three weeks, three or four weeks. And I, uh, and then we went and saw each other. And I tried to kiss him, but I missed. And I hit his, like, chin or something like that. It was very embarrassing. And then I went back to his house and we hung out for, like, another a couple days i want to say and that was fun i didn't tell my parents for a while that this friend lived three and a half hours away eventually they asked where he lived and i said the town that he lived in and my dad googled it and he's like where the fuck did you find this kid and it's just like um a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend so <laughs> this is how me and my fiance met Oh, do you want to know how we got engaged? We were talking during quarantine. We're like, haha, let's get married. And and since then, we've joked that we've been engaged over the phone before we officially started dating. He literally did drive 14 hours for me. He is an absolute champ. And you want to know the worst part? So I didn't have my license until then. I only got my license a few months ago on my birthday or a day after my birthday or something like that. And we started dating the day after my birthday. I got my license on our first anniversary, basically. That's what I was trying to say. And basically, ever, essentially, like, every week or every two weeks, he would drive to my house, pick me up, and drive me back. And I'd stay at his house for, like, a week. And then he'd bring me back, and then we'd wait another week or two weeks or three weeks, and then he'd come pick me up and bring me there for a week and then bring me back. And then it started being, like, if bring me there for two weeks, and then it started being bring me there for three weeks. Because, like, we tried, like, making the most of the time that he drove me for. And then I started meeting him halfway to pick me up. And then, because he, like, to get to my house, you have to drive through a big city. And I've never driven through a big city before. And it's actually very, very difficult and very scary. And he doesn't want me to do that yet. So I can't drive to him even if I wanted to. Because, um, I'm a very anxious driver. So. Um, my brother is actually the only one I've, uh, like, in my family that I've, like, actually told how I met him. It's funny. He is just like, well, as long as you're being careful. I'm like, yeah. Of course. Um, so. Uh, he is an absolute champ. And then... You're just starting to drive and it's very scary. Do you like that story? Well, I'm glad you do. I like telling it sometimes. But I don't have many people to tell it to. Because, like... How many people in real life can I tell that I met my boyfriend because he whispers to girls online? That's, oh, that sounded really weird. He makes videos. He makes ASMR videos on, oh, fuck. <laughs> Anyways. He, hello? Fenderman. Sorry, I heard an Enderman. That was fun. Anyways, let's not phrase it like that. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh, he's right there. Okay. And then, um, so he stopped uploading to his channel, Weabro, like a little, like maybe a month or two after we started dating. And, um, and then 
I want to say eight months ago, nine months ago. And then you realize your parents are watching your live stream. I think they know I have a YouTube account, but they don't know what it is. Oh! <laughs> this Enderman scared you? I'm so sorry. That wasn't my intention. It, I, it startled me too. But yeah, so, um, yeah, my parents I don't know how we actually met. I told them that, like, he went to college in a different city, and I told them that, like, my friend put me in a Snapchat, like, group chat with a bunch of other different long-distance friends from, like, colleges and stuff, and that's how we met. Like, we happened to, like, add each other on Snapchat, and we just started talking one day, you know? And then we became good friends, and then we started dating. That's how I told them, basically, that we met. I had to be detailed about it, because I didn't want them to be suspicious. Like, I needed, like, like, I told them, I don't remember what friend added me to it. I don't remember, like, who our mutual friend is, or whatever. It's a secret. You can't tell anyone. But yeah, that is the, um, that is the fake story that I tell people who I don't want to tell. I listen to ASMR or make ASMR, or he doesn't want to tell that he makes ASMR. And then he started making a new ASMR account. He said he would make another ASMR channel because I was egging him on to. Because I was just like, I want you to make ASMR again because you would seem to enjoy it. And then he said, I'll make another ASMR channel if you make one. And I'm like, bet. So I did. And now we're here. Look at us. <laughs> That's why I started doing YouTube. And I, I suppose it worked out. Anyways, he has a new channel now. It's called Sailor ASMR. It says he's probably not going to upload much to it because you know, he's in boot camp. Got to get a fake mutual friend who's willing to lie for you. It all comes full circle. Oh, yes, it does. So. That is how that happened. This is why I am here. <laughs> I had, for a, like, even before I met him, I kind of wanted to do ASMR. Because it just sounded fun to do. Like, and I like listening to it. I've listened to ASMR since, like, I was a sophomore in high school. Since, like, I was 15 or 16. But I only started listening to roleplay ASMR, like, senior in high school, I want to say. Um, and I really liked it, and I kind of wanted to do it. So. It's such a nice story. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, because especially it's easier to talk to you guys who listen to ASMR about how I started dating a guy who does ASMR that I watched, you know? It's easy to tell, you know, it's not as weird. I don't have to explain what ASMR is to you guys, you know? I don't have to explain why people like listening to it or, like, how it's not weird. Or, I mean, it's, it's a little weird, but, you know. It's weird to people who don't do it, you know? Like, if I tell somebody I like hearing people whisper in my ear about how much they like me, they're going to be creeped out. I don't have to do that to you guys. You guys get it. <laughs> so, um, I like talking about it whenever I can, because I can't talk about it very often, you know? It is how it is. So, this is my story. This is how it goes. Let's say some more. How you just sleep with a mic on and people listen to it? <laughs> Perfect, honestly. Oh, but aside from like us joking about how we said we should get married one day, like three weeks after we started dating, and that's how we got engaged. Um, we're. Let's see. I want to say a month ago now is when we kind of got engaged. It's because we planned to... Okay, so basically, if you don't know, if you're in the military and you have a wife, they'll give you a house or they'll give you money to get a house or apartment or whatever you want. And they'll house you and your partner if you're married. And But if you're not married, they don't give you a house. You live uh, with roommates or in the barracks or whatever, what have you. Um, so, we don't, we don't like being apart, you know, we're long distance, we like being with each other as, like, often as we can, and we thought, hey, being long distance in a different state is gonna be a lot harder, and it's gonna be just more sad. So, 
we decided, wouldn't it be cool if we got married, like, in a courthouse or whatever, like, right before you leave for boot camp, so that once you're done with boot camp, we can move in together once you're done with AIT training? So we thought that would be cool. And then he went to his recruiter, and his recruiter said, you're going to boot camp in a month. And he's like, wow. We're like, hmm, that's not really enough time to get married. So we'll put that plan on hold. You know, we decided... I guess might as well just, you know, wait and see, like, how we fare during, like, uh, boot camp itself and how we fare, like, being apart so much, you know? So, he, <laughs> and then I called him on Sunday. It was his, uh, it was our first week of being apart and not being able to talk. It was really hard, and he called me at, like, 7 in the morning, and he told me what how it, he's doing and, like, what he's doing at reception and stuff and when he's leaving for boot camp boot camp and like what he's learning and like he's gotten the covid shot he's gotten 14 shots as a matter of fact um he's like something crazy happens every day which i can tell you about if you'd like and um he told me we joked he's just like bro i hate being apart from you this sucks way more than i thought it would and i'm like yeah i feel you on that He's like, I want to propose to you, like, the minute I get back for Christmas break. Because apparently they get Christmas break. Tentatively. And I'm like, nah, uh I'm going to propose to you. He, and so now it's a race to see who's going to propose to the other person first. And it's going to be me, because I can go to a jewelry shop whenever I want and buy a ring whenever I want. Get married and have kids when you're long. My parents, they had their first kid when they were 25. We want to wait a couple years until he's at least done with his first contract to have kids so we don't have to move them around you know but I mean one person who knows about my self worth details is a person who I talk to online who lives in the US no one else I know in real life knows about it and that's fair I had somebody refer to the vaccine as the Fauci ouchie <laughs> that's the only thing I'm calling it now <laughs> that's really funny a pause more for Christmas break like so <laughs> yeah it's just apparently they get Christmas off for boot camp which is so cool and he um, originally wanted to have Christmas at his grandmother's, which I don't blame him. I don't think he wants to see his mom on Christmas, because, as I mentioned before, she's a cunt, you know? Um, I don't think she, he's even told her that he gets Christmas off. Um, but I think now he's going to come here instead for Christmas. Um, he realized how much he misses me. <laughs> Just fine. I hope once he actually goes to boot camp, because right now at reception, all they're doing is standing in line and occasionally getting yelled at. Like, he is not busy at all. He is doing literally nothing all day. He has lunch now and then, you know, but he's literally doing nothing. So, like, of, and, like, he is not being worked throughout the day. So, like, of course, like, he has so much time in his hands that, like, you know, you can be homesick and miss home so much. So I'm hoping that once he goes to boot camp, like, he won't be so, like, homesick, you know? And, like, so, like, torn up about missing me. Because, like, I mean, I like that I'm being missed, but, like, gosh, I don't want it to hurt him so much, you know? <laughs> so, um, hopefully, uh, he'll be doing better once he's at boot camp and he's actually training all day, you know? But, once he says he's going to not tell me, Calling my mom, my mother-in-law, colorful names ASMR, bro. <sighs> she's the worst, honestly. She's one of those people that, like, has to create problems if nothing is wrong because she needs to be in control and she needs to tell other people they're wrong. Even when, like, nothing's wrong. She is so annoying. Oh, I can't- she's so hypocritical- she projects her problems and insecurities onto other people. Like, Taylor's been cheated on before. I've been cheated on before. It happens, you know? Um, and it makes us insecure, you know? And we work... Oh, her name isn't Karen. Why am I blanking on her name? Her name is Teresa. Anyways. <laughs> so, um... Like, she... In, like, projects her insecurities onto him... And it makes him feel worse, obviously, because, you know, it's coming from your mom, which is supposed to be a person who you can trust and, you know, who has your best interests in mind at all times. And it just sucks. And she's an awful person. 
And, like, a week before I went to see him, he was going to cut off all contact with her. But then he's like, shit, I need a place to put all my stuff. And she's also renting, you know, a place to swim. Like, a hotel room. And I could use that to swim and practice swimming. Two cousins joined the military over the summer and both of them said boot camp sucks. Yeah. The adverse reaction to the vaccine. Kept her in the hospital the whole time, so they had different experiences. That's fair. Are you going to tell your parents about your true story with your boyfriend in the future? Or are they never going to know? Maybe we'll tell them in the future. Like, once we're married and stuff. When they can't be like, that's weird. You guys, like, they probably wouldn't say that. My parents like him a lot. And they're very happy that we're getting married. And, like, he's going to be part of our family and stuff. They're very supportive of him and us. And they're very excited that we're getting married. It's really cute. <laughs> My dad hugs him and calls him son and stuff. It's it's very adorable. But like still <laughs> I don't I don't want them to think it's weird until we're married and it's too late, you know? <laughs> Thanksgiving in eight years. We tell it in our wedding in like two years. He said, um he wants to propose to me, like when he comes down for Christmas, and then we get hitched, like as soon as he gets done with graduation and then uh we can start living together as soon as possible. And I think that's a splendid idea. <laughs> so. That's the plan. We'll have a real wedding eventually, but, like, getting, like, hitched at a courthouse is fine by me. But. Right now, um, I call him my fiancé, even though we, neither of us have, like, actually, quote-unquote, actually proposed to each other. Like, haven't gotten down on one knee, bought an expensive ring, or, like, whatever. Right now, on my left hand, on my ring finger, I am wearing a 95 cent ring that he got from Wish, like, a month after we started dating, to give to me. Because at that point, I had a ring that he bought me from a vending machine at a mall, and I wore it on my pinky finger because it was too small, and he thought that was sad, so he got me, like, at least an actual metal ring. Yeah, I'm still alive. Hello, I'm still here. I'm talking about my fiance. They're letting me gush about it. They're very nice. <laughs> so it's um, it's a little silver and gold painted ring, and it's it's metal, so it like it's sturdy, and uh, that's and it fits. So I've been wearing this on my ring finger, and I had been wearing it like for our entire year and a half of dating, except like a month ago. You want to propose with a ring pop? Honestly, the right person will say yes. <laughs> Did he buy it a month later or get it a month later? No, he bought this, like, he ordered it from Wish, like, a month after we started dating. Because, um, I, he asked me if I like wearing jewelry, and I said, I like to wear rings, and sometimes I wear earrings and necklaces. And he says, I can get you a ring if you want to wear one of those around. And I'd be like, that would be so cool. So he got me a ring one day one of those plastic rings they put on cupcakes if he proposed with a ring pop or a plastic ring or anything i would still say yes honestly <laughs> like he says um that i shouldn't say yes if he did that that i should have standards but like honestly like why 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 no <laughs> so um yeah he got me this ring and then a month um, before he left for boot camp, or three weeks before he left for boot camp, I said I wanted to call him my fiancé, and I needed to get used to calling him my fiancé. Because, you know, we're technically, by, like, whatever technicality, we're still boyfriend and girlfriend since we decided we haven't had a real engagement. But, you know, when you talk about, oh, my boyfriend went to boot camp versus my fiancé went to boot camp. What do you platform do you use for live streaming? I use OBS. That is the thing that I am using, and I'm streaming, obviously, on YouTube. And, um, yeah, there you go. Um, so when you say your boyfriend is going to boot camp um, versus your fiancé is going to boot camp, when you say fiancé, it's like, oh, they have, they have plans, they have a solid relationship, versus your boyfriend's going to boot camp, like, oh, you two are going to realize long distance is super hard and not being able to talk to you is super hard, so you're just going to break up with each other, aren't you? You know? And, like, because people suck, you know? So, um, I told him I wanted to call him my fiancé, even if we decided we weren't actually engaged. So, I, I made him, I told him he has to put the ring on my finger, though. So I made him switch the ring from my right hand to my left hand. So we could be fake engaged. 
Because your videos, I have 10,000 girlfriends. You're welcome. <laughs> Honestly, swimming in girls. <laughs> I mean, hey, why not drink green pop? So yeah. I am very excited. I will be the one that proposes. It will be me. It is now a competition and I will win it. Do you know? <laughs> Um, he turned it into a competition. He told me, um, he had plans for proposing to me. Like, he had ideas on how he wanted to do it. Like, and he hasn't told me any, I don't think. But, um, it's still live? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a creeper outside. Ew. But they're letting me talk about having a fiancé. And how we met and how we got engaged and stuff like that. They're very nice about it. They're letting me talk as much as I wish. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. Ew, Enderman. Gross. How was your nap? Was it good? <laughs> Creeper. Aw, oh, man. So we back in the mine. Got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side to side. This task of fooling one and hope to find some diamonds tonight. Night, night. Diamonds tonight. Endermen are valuable. Yes, they're not nearly as gross and creepy as creepers. I don't like hearing their <laughs> teleporting though. Endermen, whoops. <laughs> Becomes a singer. I've been singing since I could open my mouth. Like, it's nothing new. I sing perpetually like a Disney princess. <clears throat> Just start covering meme songs. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Y'all just got rickrolled. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> it's such a good song, though. I love, I love Rick Astley. He, like, oops, all bangers. All of his songs are good. Dude, did you all sing Deja Vu? I don't know the actual words to it, but I'll mumble sing it. Okay. Deja Vu, I've just been in this place before. I don't know the words. I'm sorry. I'm a disgrace. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um... Let's see. Mumbling in style. <laughs> wow. When I get Rickrolled, I pretend to be mad, but deep down I love it. Honestly, I love hearing Rick Astley. It's such a good song. Oh, I'm really glad you liked my last cover. I have my ukulele over there. If it was tuned, I'd sing it. Well, it's it's only slightly out of tune. <laughs> Your favorite video is the crush confesses him to you on the walk home. I wrote a part two, like two nights ago. And I'm gonna record it sometime soon. I just need to, um, I need to get editing software again. You want me to play my ukulele? It's also something I borrowed from Sailor, so I'm gonna get it quick. See, I'm gonna sound really gross because I've just been drinking like peach mango water, but I'm happy for you. I'm smiling for you. I'd do anything for you, for you. It's always for you and never for me. And I need it to stop, so let me tell you, please. I'm always sad, I'm always lonely, but I can't tell you that I'm breaking so. to be able to open up that my feelings are fatal my feelings are fatal it's not tuned in the slightest oh it sounds so gross it's really funny though 
You shortcut when you edit. It's open source, so it's free. Ooh. Well, that's nice. Your favorite video was a thigh cuddling one? I was so proud of that one. When I made that one, I'm like, oh, everyone loves thigh pillows. Thigh pillows are, are so popular right now. This one's gonna do so good. It's for Christmas too. Like, oh, it's, it's I'm in genius. And then it didn't do so good. So I'm really glad you like it. <laughs> So I was really, I was really happy with that one, and they use special effects and stuff, and like I, 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 I thought it was so good, and then like, it did okay. <laughs> the things I thought wouldn't do good, um, did better. How did that video not do well? You tell me. <laughs> uh, so do you want to know something? The ornament thing. That's actually something that happened. <laughs> That's what happened with Sailor. <laughs> he um, he dropped the ornament and it broke and we just put it back on the shelf. He thought it was really funny that I put that in and I was just like, hey, it's a... Uh... <laughs> we actually have the ornament still. Um, I, I think it was put away in our Christmas ornaments box. Um, I can't remember if I have it or not, but like... <laughs> Yeah. YouTube algorithm, man. YouTube algorithm is actually cracked. That's why I didn't do good. I know! Okay, so... New creators have such a hard time. And Sailor told me that, like, how you make your videos do good, it's kind of dirty. But you just tag them, like, as many times as you can. And the algorithm will pick them up if they have enough tags. And if you tag them really repeatedly and tag them with, like, popular videos tags and stuff. So... That's what I did. <laughs> I don't know how the crying video did so good. I don't know how my crush confession video did so good compared to other people's. Because there's plenty of crush convention videos on the internet. And, like, I put a lot of work into mine and I'm really proud of mine. But, like, it's not special. <laughs> yeah. You're eating an uncut baguette right now? That sounds really fun. I'm not gonna lie. I could go for some garlic bread right now. I don't know why, but like, I like imagined the scent of garlic filling my nose and I'm like, yo, garlic bread. My first video, you like it? Oh, I'm really glad. I don't, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just talking, you know? I didn't have, uh, that one wasn't scripted or anything. I, I was just, I was, I'm really glad you like that one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you like it. I only started recording videos because um, Sailor said he wanted to listen to me because I could listen to him when I wanted. Um, we hit five hours. Damn. That's okay. That's longer than the last live stream I did. That's kind of funny. It's okay. Last time I streamed for five hours for when I hit 4K, and now I'll stream six hours for when I hit 5K. Next one, I'll do seven hours when I hit 6K and eight hours when I hit 7K. <laughs> Probably not, but imagine, <laughs> you know? So, I wish I was eating garlic bread right now too. That's the only song I know on my ukulele, by the way. Uh, Sailor taught it to me. I didn't know the words at first. Um, I can't even play the ukulele that good. And then you, you crash and sleep for 48 hours. If only, I have work tomorrow at eight o'clock. So I have to wake up at 6.30. We only need one more life too. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I have to practice strumming. I can't do it while singing though. It's exciting though. It's fun. I need to learn more. Hybrid class would listen, get a couple hours of sleep so you would listen to that first film. I'm really glad it helped so much. It's really sweet of you to say this. I, sometimes to tease me, Sailor would turn on my own videos. And you know, anybody hates hearing their own voice, but especially mine because I'm saying, like, girlfriendy things that I don't want to hear myself saying, you know? Learn never going to give you up on it. Bet I'll do it. I don't know. Um, anything about uh, chords or fingering or anything, but I'll learn that for you. I'll do it. At one point, he taught me, um, 
Can't Help Falling in Love, you know, the Elvis Presley song, but I can't remember. Dude, strumming and singing is so hard, I have zero coordination. Okay, senior year, I took two classes. I took a piano class and I took a guitar class, and I can't play either now. So, uh, I'm not good at it. <laughs> what was it? It was basically just eight months wasted once the pandemic hit, because I didn't have a guitar for a while, and then I got one, but um, it's kind of too big for my fingers. Like, the frets are huge, and I have tiny hands. I have little baby hands, so uh, it's very difficult for me. Also, my fingies hurt ever too long, so. But yeah. I wish I was talented. Sailor is talented. He can play piano really good. He can play guitar really good. And he can play ukulele really good. And he's a good singer. And I'm so jealous. <laughs> Could I use your last cover, Feelings Are Fatal, in an animated short film I intend to do in the future? You are more than welcome to. I would love to see that. Make sure you send it to me when you're done. <laughs> you can still play guitar, but you need ultimate guitar in front of your face the whole time. Yeah. Just play drum set and hit different drums. Oh, wow. I can imagine. I don't know how people play drums or, like, what the sheet music you use for drums look like. That looks so complicated. Sailor also used to play drums. He was in drumline in high school and, like, competed and stuff. That's... Imagine being talented. Like, holy shit. I remember when Chess was first released. Can't wait for Chess 2. It's interdimensional. Welcome back, welcome back. He is a musical man. He's so talented. I am so jealous. I listen to uh, a lot of his singing videos a lot, and he sent me a few. Some of them were really funny. He... <laughs> uh, what's... Sometimes he just comes up to me, he's like, I'm gonna sing you a song, Gwen. It's like that. And he says, I love you, bitch. I never gonna stop loving you, bitch. He's very nice. But yeah, it's very cool. I wish I had um, an ounce of the talent he's got. Uh, all I can do is sing, and that's all I got going for me. And I can't, and I'm not even as good as I used to be. Like, if any of you think I'm okay singer now, I used to be so much better when I was in, I had been in choir since fifth grade from 10th, like, 5th grade to 10th grade, I was in choir, and I was even in competitive choir, and I was in musicals and stuff, so I had a lot of practice singing, and I sung, like, and I practiced my voice all the time, and then junior year hit, and I wasn't in choir, but I was in musical theater, so I still sung, and I learned how to, like, develop my voice and make it stronger and get, like, a bigger range and stuff, and how to belt singing and that was so cool and then senior year hit and I didn't take any classes that had anything to do with singing so I lost like all my range and now I can't sing nearly as good it sucks I'm so sad I used to be such a nice singer like I was humble back then but now I just suck and I just think to back then I'm like I used to be like so much better then and I'm so sad that I can't sing the way I used to it's very unfortunate. You play piano, but you're really not as good as you'd like to be, and you'd say that in a bit. Jealous? I know. I know. There's some people who were in my beginner piano class that played so well, and it was so incredible, and I'm like, why are you here? <laughs> you wish you could sing, but when you try to go higher, you sound like a car drifting. Honestly, that's a fat move. Oh my god. So in musical theater class, to learn how to belt... You have to just kind of stretch your voice every day. And, like, the exercises that you do to help, like, like stretch your range are so weird sounding. <laughs> A lot of them, like, you mostly, um, and this is the same for choir, too, to, like, train your voice. You do, like a melody and then you keep going higher and higher and higher and you keep practicing until you can go as high as you can and then you do it for as low as you can um and for musical theater the one we used to um practice belting was we did hey yas 
but they were really gross and nasally, so it's like, hey, and that's how we, that's how, a, like, a classroom full of freshmen girls and a couple boys and a couple junior and senior girls like me sounded, and it was weird. And we'd do that until we could go as high as we can and couldn't anymore. It was wacky. <laughs> no! That's so unfortunate. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so, in musical theater, at the end of the year, we had to do, for our final, we had to perform a song in front of the class. Some people did it in groups, which was uh, fine for them, but a lot of people did solos. And you had to perform it in front of the class, and then, like, the class would critique you, but then the teacher would give you, like, the final grade. And you got a practice one, and then you did, like, the graded one. And for the practice one, they said I tapped my foot a lot to keep beat, which is, would be fine if I was just singing a song, but I am performing a song. I'm supposed to, like, pretend to be in character, and the character would not tap their feet, even though I was playing a famous singer. Whatever. But, so, to keep myself from, it, to at least remind myself of when I'm tapping my foot and that I need to stop, I wore heels to, like, the actual performance, and so I, I kind of dressed up. They're like, wow, Gwen, you look really pretty today. It's just like, I just needed to wear heels today. And this is the only thing that like made sense to wear with it. This is like as casual as I could look while wearing heels. And they all thought that was really funny. I was just like, I just need to make sure I didn't tap my foot. They, they laughed at that, which I'm really glad because I'm not a funny person. But I have my moments, you know? <laughs> what a legend. Thank you so much. I What song was that? It's from the Carol King musical, and it's called I Feel the Earth Move, I think. And it's based on a song that Carol King actually sang. So. <clears throat> I still remember it. I got a good grade on it, but I could only sing half of the song because the backing track that I found was only half of the song. So. Um, I still snuck by with it. <laughs> I didn't get very no many notes, which I guess is a good thing, because if they don't have anything to correct you on, I guess I did it well, I suppose. I don't know. I didn't practice it very much. I didn't do the choreography very much, so I kind of just made it up one afternoon and went with it. I, I tried my best. There, I have a video of it on my phone, and gosh darn it. I would have showed you, but I don't, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Hot cross buns and recorders, way better. God, where did my recorder go? I used to have one. I have a tiny flute from like a party favor that I used to have. I used to be able to play Hot Cross Buns on the guitar, and obviously piano and stuff. Um, Hot Cross Buns was something we performed at a concert. <laughs> a personal favorite song is Rose Colored Vengeance. I think I've heard that. A pickle flute? Are you are you thinking of a piccolo? No, it's it's just like a tiny flute from like it's a tiny recorder from like a party favor that I used in a musical. It was supposed to be uh, it was called a toot sweet um, from the musical Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. It was supposed to be a candy that you could play with. Like, that was a flute that you could blow on. Do you still have one in a drawer somewhere? I swear I did. I thought I have a recorder somewhere around here, but I guess not. Hello there, it's good to see you. Wait, really? We yeah, I mean, for our guitar class, we didn't know very many songs. So our first concert in beginner guitar we played hot cross buns at concert so uh that was a thing so tiny flutes called pickle flutes you could be right but the only tiny flute that i can think of is called a piccolo my aunt plays one so i'm inclined to believe that's what you feel like you're thinking of i could be wrong though i don't play piccolos or pickle flutes. You know? 
Ah, my mouth is so dry. I might have to actually get a bottle of water. If I am to keep going. I might be right. I could be. I could be completely wrong and you might be in the right. I don't know. This cause of is actually royalty free, so if you want to play it, you can. I'm interested in it, but I'm worried. It's probably fine. This is probably, um, it probably won't matter because, um, I didn't monetize this when I first went live, so it probably doesn't matter. It probably won't get many views, so it won't really make a difference, and I can probably... Okay. Rose... No. Ro ro no. Rose... Co Hello, color... Lenses. Do you know who it's by? Who is it by? Is it by Unliked Pluto? Is that who it is? Oh, royalty free. I hope this isn't too loud. You'll have to brace yourselves. <gasps> oh no! No! Ew. Sorry, it's a Genshin Impact ad. about it being royalty free music also you're never gonna give you up okay but that was me singing it and there's a, like the algorithm will definitely pick up rose colored lenses <laughs> this is very vibey <laughs> I think um, Sailor did a cover once and I got copyright stricken. Mm -hmm. But YouTube has a feature now that it will still let you monetize something if you make a cover. You just need to check mark it that this is in fact a cover. I am not just playing the music. Go get some exercise. Excuse you, I work outside in the Texas heat five days a week for nine hours. I don't need exercise, thank you very much. I can eat whatever I want and I just sweat it all off. So, today is my rest day. Most days I just sit in bed and just relax because I am sore all the time and near dehydration, but I drink like four bottles of water day sometimes six the first week i worked it was like eight bottles a day it was a lot <laughs> so right now i am chilling it is my chill day i don't need to do anything today i have zero responsibilities except for my laundry which i'm gonna do whenever i get off <laughs> stretch muscles i've been stretching in my chair and i should probably get up but like Oh, I got up to get my ukulele. That's fine. <laughs> this is even more vibey. <laughs> Sorry, I put it on like one point seven five. <laughs> I like doing that. I have to when I listen to um when I listen to what's it called? Podcast, I put them on like 0.175 speed or 0.15 speed. I gotta speed them up. My attention span is short and I need the words to be fast. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's very nice, very nice. A little bit, yeah. I agree that some songs just sound better that way. <clears throat> I no longer have a drink with me. My, I'm going to get dehydrated. That's okay. If it happens, it happens. I'll drink water at work tomorrow. Bro, I wish I had Mondays off, and I could probably ask for Mondays off, but I just had a lot of work off, and the guy um, who used to have Mondays off just got fired, so I could probably take his day off, but I, I don't know if I can ask that, you know? Let's see. Oh, there was this one song that stuck in my head that, um, because Sailor used to sing it, and it sounds so good, and I, and I want to... I, it's been stuck in my head for so long. It goes, <clears throat> Love of mine, someday you will die. There I'll be false behind. I'll follow you into the dark. No blinding lights. Tunnels of fading white. Just our hands clasped so tight. Waiting for the hint of a spark If heaven and hell decide That they both are satisfied Illuminate the notes On their vacancy signs If there's no one else beside you And your soul embarks Then I'll follow you into the dark it's so sad, but it sounds so good. I love it so much. <laughs> These school Chromebooks are so annoying. I want to throw it out the window. I feel. <sighs> we survived, though. You have a really sweet voice. Oh, I'm glad you think so. It's not saying much. You're silly. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's my death cat for a cutie. You're right. <laughs> Surprise someone? No, because I, I had never heard of the song before. Or the band before. So, it's very cool. I really like it. I had been trying to learn it. I want to learn it on either the guitar or ukulele, but I am not that talented. <laughs> So, I probably won't. I'll probably stick to not as hard songs. You know? But it's really good. Oh, it's so good. What's another song that I really like? <coughs> Let's see. Um, <coughs> Be my mistake And turn out the lights She bought me those jeans The ones you like don't wanna hug I just want some sleep The smell of your hair Reminds me of a freak So don't wait outside of my hotel room Just wait till I give you a sign Cause I get lonesome Sometimes I save all the jokes you're gonna make while I see how much drink I can take and be my mistake. Let's see. I well, I need to look up the lyrics for the moon song. Oh, moon song. Lyrics. I'm lying on the moon, my dear. I'll be there soon. It's a quiet starry place. And a swallowed earth's place And we're a million miles away I need to listen to the song again because I haven't listened to it to so long. <laughs> Do you 
could do a lullabies audio. I think that would be awesome. I have done a lullaby audio. It's um, Girlfriend Sings You to Sleep. And I proposed uh, cutting it up so it's just the songs and no talking. But out of a poll, it only got 3% to find me to the moon and the Fly me to the moon. Yeah. I always think of that too when I hear this song. So you're not the only one. <laughs> you gotta go eat before you starve to death. You'll be back. I've got Twizzlers here. I'll just survive off those. <laughs> I've eaten one thing. No, I've eaten three things today. I woke up and I ate a bunch of peanut M&Ms. And then I, uh, before this, one sec. Sorry, my cat's been sick, so he's having an upset stomach, and I just got asked to help clean it, and then I said I was streaming, he's like, okay, I'll do it myself, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I can, I can stop streaming. Dry mini meats? Oh, that sounds so good. Let's see. My, uh, sailor sang, uh, the moon song before in one of his videos, and I thought it was so good. He just sends me videos of him singing sometimes, and it's very, very nice. I think guys who can sing and play music are so cool. It's very, I think anyone who can sing and play music is cool though, so, you know. Let's see. What is it? It's almost 5.30. I probably should get off soon. Y'all, some of you are troopers and have been here for so long, y'all should get something to eat or go to sleep or something like that i need to get something to eat and then i need to do laundry and i need to clean my room a little and throw out some trash and i need to take care of my cat you going i think i am i probably should at least <laughs> i got the so you gonna stream again soon i think i might try to stream next week on Let's see, next week, my day off is Wednesday. I'll either try streaming on Wednesday or maybe Sunday. I can't tell. I don't know. I'll always leave you updated if I'm going to stream, though. I'll make Instagram or uh, community post announcements on YouTube if ever I'm going to stream, though. It is very nice having you here. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, I guess that means... I transition to this one. Look at me go. I'm a, I'm a streamer now. Look at me. I have things. <laughs> I hope you have a good night. It was very nice having you guys here. I'm so glad that some of you stuck around. I'm very glad if any of you popped in towards the end or throughout the day. It was really cool. I'm really glad you were able to come here. It doesn't matter if you missed part of it. I'll upload it, uh, the VOD to YouTube. It'll be on a playlist. Could you premiere it on YouTube? Someone will see that and actually get the notification for it. I can try that next time. If you think that'll help. I can definitely do that. If you want to make sure you get notifications, um, you can uh, follow me on Instagram. You can uh, join my Discord server. Um, I didn't announce it on my Snapchat because I think I mentioned earlier I stopped using Snapchat as much. So maybe not that one. Uh, but you can check the description and that'll have all the links and places where I'll announce stuff. So you won't have to worry about it. It's also got my Ko-Fi there since somebody told me to put it there, but <laughs> I don't I need to post more to my Ko-Fi. I've been posting covers there more often, I think. So ha. Huh. Those are my things. The old man, we will meet again. <laughs> That's okay. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys have a good night. I will talk to you again soon. Come hang out in the Discord server, because I actually talk there. You'll actually see me there, so you won't have to wait until the next time I stream or upload. Uh, hopefully upload soon. I'll probably be doing part two of the crush confession thing. And that'll be fun. First day, you know. Alrighty. I uh, will upload this to YouTube as a VOD, and it will be in a playlist. So if you need to rewatch it, it'll be there. So... 
Hope you have a good night, guys. I'll talk to you later.